come here to chew bubblegum. Come in peace. How's it going today, Cronkite? Pretty good. We're good. Not so, so pretty good. That's it. Yeah. I mean, excellent. It's going. Okay. It's going fantastic. Well, see, that is better. Today is Sunday, July, uh, June twenty seventh. The show will be going up later on this evening, around four, five o'clock. Sure. And uh, do you want to tell us about something real quick before I get on with some very special news? I'm lost. What do you? Want? Oh. No, no, you have okay. a paper in front of you. No, no, I got it. Okay. Uh, the Pipe for Comic Toy Con. Yes. Uh, Pipe for Comic Toy Con is coming to the Appalachian Wireless Arena on Saturday, July 31st. For more information, you can visit net, And they also have a Facebook page, or you can contact the e-store comic and tech shop on Facebook or call 606-263-4946. And we also have Pup in with us. Welcome back, Pup. Glad that you're here. How are you all doing? We are doing great. We have some very special guests in Bunker Studios today. Yeah, it's a full house. And I'm talking about Elliot, Gertie, and Beagle from the Spooky Family Podcast. That's that's hi nice. hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. So I mean, yeah, we're here and uh, we're we're having a good time. We're having a good time, right? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. I would like to say hi to my future self at four. <laughs> <laughs> Don't drink the water. <laughs> I love when Elliot comes business. by. It's like intelligent conversation, but now he's brought people. Yeah. What did, I can't, what did you mean, intelligent <laughs> conversation? I mean, well, listen, if anybody has listened to this show, they uh-huh. know that you well, and I, we don't exactly... They should know that I'm the brains of the operation. That's right. Is that what that is? Yes. <laughs> the captain is what I've heard as well. Uh, he's, the, he's, the, he, yeah, he's the captain. He's the captain. Yeah. Okay. I mean, you need to go down with the ship. The Titanic had a captain, too. <laughs> <laughs> Certainly did. We know what happened to that one. Now, the uh, the uh, Spooky family, they're here because their podcast is going to be premiering this Thursday, July 1st. Uh, what time? Oh, uh, I think I have it set for 1 a.m. So 1 a.m.? Yeah. Okay. I mean, you can do it whenever. whenever you listen to it. Interesting choice. I mean, it'll be there all day. I'm glad you consulted <laughs> us about that. <laughs> You know what? I try. All right. And uh, you I can work seven jobs. You can hear it on what Spotify as well. Spotify, iTunes, uh, Google Plus, uh, any place that's got quality you know, podcast. Yeah, quality podcast. Anchor, you know, is our big thing. And I'll put a, I'll put a link out there for everybody to listen. I'm forgotten. I, I can't speak words. Is not good today. What? No. Bad. Now, now why did you choose one a.m. I don't, I, well, I didn't want to it's do it at midnight. You know, you have to ask him. Oh. Why not three? Yeah, why not yeah the three? witching hour, yeah, right? Yeah. But no, there was no input from anybody else. <laughs> oh, no. so, uh, yeah. Talk to me about it. Sounds like somebody, oh. somebody, sounds, like, sounds like somebody else has got a captain on their boat. Yeah, she's a mean captain. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was... <laughs> She's very mean. To nice me. deflection. You know what I've noticed about this two group of people here? What's that? So we have uh, Goose and Cronkite. And then they have Elliot and Gertie. Yes. And mm-hmm. they have a dog named Beagle, and yes. we have a dog named Pup. Oh, oh that is a good, 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 uh, good <laughs> call. I had never nice. realized that. Mm-hmm. That is pretty good. I didn't know. I, I never realized that either. What do you think about that, Pup? I think it's pretty interesting, honestly. Well, what's so interesting about it? There's two dogs on each show. It, well, We're okay. the top dogs. And, uh, you know, I have listened to the first two episodes, and they are great. I mean, Thank you. I, and I look forward to more. Well, you know, we wanted to get out there and do something a little bit different than, than the Here to Chew Bubblegum, but we wanted to stay in the same vein because, you know, we all are one big family of, of shows. Exactly. You know, we, but our first two shows, I, I don't think I'm giving away anything. Is, no, it's uh, fine. You know, we're going to be talking about missing 411 and people mm-hmm. who go missing in the national parks. And, mm-hmm. And believe it or not, I mean, 
That happens a lot, apparently. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, if you do try to, uh, you know, uh, call and talk to the, uh, <laughs> um, the forest, uh, forestry department, forestry department, yeah, then uh, you know they will uh, take your call and then promptly uh, ignore your it. call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. So apparently what we've though. decided, though, is that the uh, park rangers are going to hate us after those first two I mean, episodes. We're so sorry. We're well, never going to go back to National I think Park. it might be like a silent, like they're just nodding their heads. Yeah. Well, there there was one like, story, I think it. it was in episode one, maybe, uh, or it might have been episode two, of, of the little boy. Mm-hmm. Uh, they found his shoe. and Yeah. You know, that one was really, really sad. Yeah, I, a lot of these are extremely sad. They're, it's just, uh, you wouldn't believe. The thing is, the one thing that gets us, and it, it's we, we just can't wrap our heads around it, is they will look for people in a certain area four or five, six times. And then on the seventh time, professional find, coordinated yeah, searches professional too. Coordinated search, yeah. yeah, searches thorough. And on the like sixth, seventh time, they'll come back through and they'll either find a body or they'll find the person. There. Right. So how and like that person will usually have no memory if they're alive of how they got there or where they've been. So what's happening? You know, that's that's where we're at. And those cases are they're just they're odd and they're fascinating to us. Right. Well, uh, for the audience, well, we're getting to know the spooky family. I want to point out that Gertie works in a pop top. Pop Tart Factory. Yeah. Yes. Not the Cookie Factory. She <laughs> actually stated she works in the Pop Tart Factory. Yeah, it's similar. She couldn't get. There's on. a lot of cross At, pollination yeah. of <laughs> right, right. Well, <laughs> products and problems. And this you know, question is for uh, Gertie and Elliot. Describe Beagle in a horror movie. Um, Michael Myers, the shape. Probably the serial killer. That <laughs> killing wow. Because that's, I mean, <laughs> that was a quick response. He's a very it. intimidating guy if you don't know him. He is. His like, stature is a little intimidating. Yeah. And plus, he has that serial killer beard right now. And mm. like. Now, uh, <laughs> when uh, me and you met seven years ago at the Cookie Factory, you actually didn't have the beard, did you? No. I didn't think so. I didn't think so. It was something recently uh, for people to not recognize me. (laughs) Okay, okay. It's a disguise. You do realize that doing a podcast is just audio, correct? So you won't Uh, have to worry about anybody. That's actually lost on me. If uh, (laughs) um, we're still trying to explain to him how microphones and things work, you're telling me no one is like they can't see me. Well, we can, and people in the room. I mean, yeah. So everyone can. Yeah. Right. So because. All right. (laughs) <laughs> Never mind. He understands now. We're good. Uh, well, we're going to start out, and we're going to ask some questions. Uh, Sounds good. And this is for all of you guys. Whoever wants to answer it, just answer it. If you could replace all of the grass in the world with something else, what would it be? Really? Mm. Nobody's going to... Nobody's going to... Nobody. What? Chocolate. It's going to be chocolate. Oh. That's yeah. a good answer. Yeah, because, I mean... How would that work close to the equator? The equator. Rivers of chocolate. The equator. Sorry. The equator. To Ecuador. Uh, <laughs> hey, hey, chocolate. No. How answer. awesome would that be? It's, he He's really into this. Let Look, it's go. my opinion. It's chocolate. You all don't have an opinion, so there. I mean, chocolate wins. Let him go. I don't know. Do you guys have room at here to chew bubblegum yes, with sir. someone else? Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> We just started ours, but uh, you would have to be an intern. Things are happening. That's fine. That's Implosion. Fine. <clears throat> this old dog knows. Speaking of dogs and interns, they got some food around here you might be interested in. Oh yes, sir. We'll feed you. So <laughs> hopefully, uh, you know, we'll walk you and pup together. The only thing we have left are bacon strips. I eat all the rest of it. Yeah, okay. Okay. I nap a lot too. He does well, nap I, I'm an old dog. You would you would fit in perfect. Yeah. If you do hear snoring, you know. by the way, he has a medical condition where he just falls asleep. No joke. This is real. It's not really narcolepsy. It's just sleep apnea that has gone into control. It's severe sleep apnea that has went. Hand to God, that's not a joke. That's why I must drive us to work every day, Beagle. Sleep apnea that just got out of control. Yeah. It's true, though. You know, one day you're like, hey, it's just a little bit. And we'll we'll be recording. You no, know you're just asleep. <clears throat> yeah, we'll be <laughs> we'll be recording the show, and I'll look over and I'll be like, "Hey, uh, hey, Beagle, wake up!" And he'll be like, "I've been awake. What's going on? Where are we at? <laughs> What's going on?" It is though a way that I can un- unapologetically show people what actually bores me. Yeah, I mean, that's, 
<laughs> yeah, we'll be talking about that. Because if I'm out, then you know that I, I'm sorry. There was no filter. <laughs> it just I went, happened. I just went out. Uh, well, Cronkite, you have a question there, don't you? Uh, no, I just want to make sure that everyone understands that, um, that Go- Goose has wrote all of these questions. <laughs> no, no, these questions were actually put together by me and Cronkite. So the, the one that I just read, I uh, wrote yeah. myself. Goose explained to us that you all wrote these together. This is a is collaboration. Yeah, no, this was the first time I've seen these. Uh, and also, he always says that. No, hmm. that's that's 100% true. I have heard him say it quite I am, uh, I am not asking about six of these. Why? Did you change your six mind? Six of them? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I didn't change my mind. I'm just... Uh, Listen, you want to make it make me look like I do the fart <laughs> jokes. You are the only one who does what? fart jokes. I have no clue what you're talking it's about. It's all about poop on here. All well, of then, it. Why did you write those I, for? Well, I didn't. We're, okay. we're lucky the Beagle's here then because that's his specialty. So everything works out good. <laughs> if you were suddenly arrested for no reason and your face was flashed all over the news, what would your family and friends assume you did? Mm. Is this for me specifically, or is this for <laughs> This is for all three of you individually. Because I have a lot of thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. They're, they're wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. Uh, I know what would be interesting. How about, how about we do this? Okay. I want to ask you two, if Elliot's face was on the on the news, what oh. would you assume he did? Assault. <laughs> <laughs> he finally just broke. Check fraud. To <laughs> anyone listening, that is not the case. Okay. <laughs> Those not are some good answers. Okay. Good answers. And uh, to Beagle and Elliot, if Gertie were on the news, what would she have done? Straight up murder. Straight, <laughs> up, Straight murder. up murder. And it's prob- first degree. Actually, I'm probably the victim in that case. So it That's how mm. it goes. Um, and then Beagle, you for the other two. <laughs> what did Big Sissy do? Well, actually, uh, a little she's, uh, 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 possession. Possession. <laughs> <laughs> First degree. What substance? <laughs> Methamphetamine. Oh, God. Oh, no. <laughs> this is a sugar-free Red Bull, I'll have you know. <laughs> Good Lord. Uh, she's actually producing it. Like a, oh, like a okay. Walter White. Oh, like a Walter White. White. Yeah. I see. I mean, insurance is expensive. Pop-Tart factory wasn't really... <laughs> I thought Kicking. She was making, <laughs> cutting it. I thought no. she was making biscuits and gravy. I didn't know she was making mad. Okay. It took a turn for the worst yeah, real yeah, quick. Really you should try having to sit down and produce a podcast with these two. Especially I'm this sorry. one. I'm sorry. I have a goose. I'm, he, he wrote poop questions on That's here true. for me to read. I did read. not, That's man. True. You I wrote those. Uh, if you were to appoint a president of the internet, who would it be and why? Man, now that that is a rough one. Um, President of the internet. We were kind of joking about it in the car, but Bo Burnham, he has a <laughs> apparently a good grasp of it. Yeah, the negative and positive sides. Right. The comedian um, Bo Burnham. Uh, Jeff Bezos. Jeff Bezos. Why? He owns everything anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Let him have the internet. Amazon's more? like eighty-five percent of the internet, right? Is that what? <laughs> Will he have like ninety uh, percent of the wealth now? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> of the world. <laughs> yes. So I don't I don't have an answer. Oh, I'll, I'll go with Cronkite. Oh, okay. Cronkite's a good answer. Thank you. I'll You're take welcome. it. I accept. I respect you, Cronkite. Thank you. You're welcome. So why do dogs sniff each other? That's not even on there. Oh, well, how do you know? Did you write these? <laughs> no, no, I'm going to print printed them off. Beagle, can Beagle? you tell us uh, you what's Pug? happening? You got uh, a thing here? Um, it is. Because you guys were sniffing each other when we come in. So yeah, it's, it's all about dominance. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is respect. So who's the um, dominant? Who's the bitch? Which one is? Notice how I pointed at we you. As we of course, I am threatened by his younger body. abilities. Right, okay. younger abilities. I'm Why able to we? move a lot quicker. I see. Than he would. I've got age. I've got wisdom. Got great like, hairs. I can't run as far as he can. He's got I can't arthritis. jump. I can't bite as far as arthritis. He's got, he's got dog arthritis. Eat up with it, he said. <laughs> I am, and then the narcolepsy with it. <laughs> I mean, I'm out. Well, You'll be right but I'm a perfect pet. Okay. If you want a lap dog. So. <laughs> you can't beat me. All right, am so, I dead? Am I asleep? And then Goose <laughs> also. <laughs> am I Perfect camouflage. Uh, and then Goose also wants to know why do you guys eat poop? 
Us as a family? That, that, <laughs> that, that was actually for Gertie. Uh, uh, <laughs> I realized, well, you see. I realized how stupid that sounded as that came out. Why do dogs eat poop? Because, uh, mm. yeah, yeah. It sounds like a family tradition. Cronkite so. wrote that down. No. <laughs> Getting mm. cut into the heart of it. People can go back and listen <laughs> to the show, and they know that you're the one that has bad I have humor. no clue what you're talking about, man. All you have to do I wrote record. serious questions, and here you wrote all these off-the-wall and questions. All you have to do is go back and listen to all the shows. And you can see who's got the bathroom humor. I feel like that sounds like something that you would that's you would say. Thank you, pup. That's Thank you. Not at all true. Yes, yes, I, yes, I yes. Like Whose side are you on? Cronkite, I feel like it you, might be true because Cronkite, you do ask those questions quite often. I yes, don't. You, yes, you do. I don't. You do. But on, but you know, I mean, I don't. No, Elliot, listen. I just, I just listen. <laughs> are you targeting me? <laughs> Sorry, what? Are you, are you targeting both of us? Yeah, Elliot. I, I was. Uh, I'm your biggest fan in this room. Oh, listen, I'm your biggest fan, too. Don't get me wrong. And but I'm I, saying you I, do ask them a lot. Now kiss. I gave you compliments already. <laughs> you, <laughs> yeah. yes. you do ask them a lot, but Closer. I know he gives you those questions to There's ask. There's a risk so, for me. You know, I mean, oh, okay, I see I think so. he's setting you up. He is 100%. <laughs> I called him out on his bathroom humor, and he's like, oh, oh goose. <laughs> well, no, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> they're They're funny questions. You are you really. Funny, you're funny you, looking. You know, you're. <laughs> Sometimes you're not that funny on the show, so I was trying to help oh, you be okay. funny. Let's call Denver International Airport. Anybody else for it? Anybody? I see what you're it saying. It makes me nervous. So it, it makes it makes. I'm I'm not the funny one. Yes. Yeah. I'm not the funny one. Yeah. You're the funny one. I, I am the funny one. Yeah. Yeah. Sure you're you the funny are. looking one. Okay. That's you you that's you look like the uh, the uh, guy from Albert and Costello. I don't even know what that means. Is that an old joke? You're, how old are you? Are you 70? Okay. Um, let's ask him another question. Uh, whose turn was it? Yours? I don't even know. No, it's your turn. No, no. You can go ahead and take How this. do bankruptcy attorneys make That's money? not even your question to ask. That one's mine. Uh, uh, you, I went next. <laughs> how do bankruptcy attorneys no, 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 I've already make asked any it. money? I've already asked it. Hmm. That is a good question. I never thought about that Thank before. Thank you. Beagle, can you find out with your uh, your legal friends? My connections. Your connections, how that happens. Yeah. I think he's That's a really good question. Uh-oh. 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 <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, I, yeah, I'll get back to you. <laughs> um, Walmart, Jeff Bezos. <laughs> That's Walton. Well, yeah, That's just, Sam Walton. That's what I deal with. We'll just go with it. And uh, Cronkite's got one wow. here. Brushing your teeth or wiping your butt? Oh. You have to give one up. Which would it be and why? I think wiping your butt and brushing your... No, brushing your butt and wiping your teeth. No, I don't know. I give up. What? Which one would you give up? (laughs) You can either have a fresh Uh, mouth or a fresh butt. Which one are you having? Does it... Because it it count that I'm at home and then I could just be like, let's take a shower? No. Well, I don't know then. No, you're you're in public. You're Disneyland. It's ninety five degrees, hundred percent humidity. <laughs> I had a lot just, of Dole whips. You just uh, had some <laughs> chili cheese fries and man. Oh man! Uh, Can you talk about the Disney World grilled uh, cheese sandwich for just a second? How awesome that thing is! Oh okay. It looks amazing. I want to try. It. Can we go? Can we go home and make one of those? No, what was the name of it? It's the it's the grilled cheese sandwich from Disney World. Oh, it's okay. got like five yeah. different kinds yeah. of cheese. Yeah, of cheese. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah, I have saw that. Yeah, can we just do? Can we? I'll let's make you. I'll make you a grilled cheese a sandwich when we go home. If you just quit <laughs> talking about it, yeah, you talking about? All right. Uh, oh. I mean, mine's it's clear. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm giving up brushing my teeth. Okay. Fine. Same with me. That's if I had to pick one, that's what I would do. Yeah, I'm not. I get. I mean, like, yeah, if it's straight up, just have to pick one. I guess brushing my teeth. Yeah, yeah I, it's I less misery. But I can do something else. Well. Just, I guess. I mean, you, you can't eat brush or chew bubble or, gum. You know, you just can't brush. Well, your teeth. We're here to do that. So. Yes. Well, you can, yeah, you can't brush your teeth. You can always just you take toilet paper teeth, and wipe but them. But you could go to the sure. dentist. Oh, listen to Pope oh. over here. And what? you don't have to wipe your butt if you have a what's that thing called a bidet. A bidet. So uh, speaking of, on either end, either end, you got options. Oh, do you all have bidets? My bidet is coming up in July. Okay, Cronkite actually has. <laughs> I, I actually <laughs> have not one. your birthday. Oh, my bad. not your oh. birthday. I, I actually have a bidet, and if you don't have a bidet, I have an accidental <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> I 
implore you to go get one because let me tell you, it is life changing. So there, there is a joke between me and my brother, my actual real life brother. Uh, he, uh, <laughs> sorry, man. Uh, so he, uh, oh no, we he moved into a house and the the toilet like came, you do. The, yeah, the toilet came with a banana <laughs> already installed. He was like, get this thing out of here. I don't want this thing here. And so I bought him one for Christmas, just you know, because he got rid of the original. And he was like, "Oh, stupid! I hate you." And then the next Christmas, he bought me one, and then we still have it in our closet. But we're we're remodeling the bathroom, so so you're gonna we may hook, we're we gonna may install have, it, hook it up. It's gonna happen. Well, we Seriously, it. now the first time it's gonna shock you, but <laughs> in a good or bad way. It's just cold water. Okay. Conkite says he misses that first time. So that first time <laughs> was just... He's chasing that dragon. That's what, that's what, that's what, that's what, he's like, I want that back. <laughs> no, it's, uh, it, in all seriousness, so it's uh, it's amazing. That's pretty awesome. We're gonna, well, we'll have, to, we'll have to install that's that. That's pretty board. awesome. <laughs> oh, Lord. My bidet's in July, though. <clears throat> all right, so you're banned from a local library. What what, what would be the reason, or what... What would be the reason for it? I actually was banned. We from are <laughs> really. <laughs> All two of us here are banned from the library. Well, now I'm, was, I was I afraid was, to enter the yeah. library, for that I would be arrested. I actually had to go into a library just the other day and pay off uh, my bill. Yeah. bill because she had kept a. She, ha, do you all know you can rent video games at a library now? I, I accidentally kept a that. video game. Yeah, you can. Well, what and, video game was it? Our son had it. What was it? Mario something. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but anyway. Well, yeah, <laughs> it was like, a Game Boy game. <laughs> and she comes to me one day and she goes, um, I found this video game and uh, I got it from the library about two years ago. <laughs> and I was like, what in the world? And I was here, I go to the library and I'm expecting, I'm like, oh God, this is going to cost. You know, I've been so a serial offender money. too because I had like, <laughs> I think I might have been like 11 and had like Carrie, Stephen King book, you still have a John book. Steinbeck book and some other stuff. Uh, that I accidentally stole from the library. Yeah. Oh, no. It's and happened now. So I go to the and now it's out on the airway. Okay, and also, <laughs> the library police are going to be active. I know. Sure. Hold on a second. This is even funnier. Legit so scared to go was, into a library. So I had this game, and uh, it came with a case, but we don't know where the case is at. So here I am going to the library with this game. We've lost the case. It's it's overdue by two years. I'm like, my God, I'm going to have to pay so much money. Yeah. And I walk in, and I'm like, you know, here this thing. And she goes, oh. It's overdue. And I said, yeah, I know, I know. And she goes, there's going to be a charge. And I was like, I know. So I get my checkbook out, and she goes, $1.25. And I'm like, what? <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. God so bless them. <laughs> 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 and then I, then I she knows, down to the like, library. Like, like, she gets, like, a joint. He immediately out. calls me in front of this woman. I'm like, uh, <laughs> I'm going to go get some more. I was like, what do you want? We got some more Mario over here. But, yeah, that's that really happened. That feels like no, their uh, their their son is funny. This this happened a couple of years ago, and I was at the Pop Tart factory seeing somebody, and their son turns around and looks at me, and all of a sudden he just goes and starts flexing his arms, <laughs> <laughs> and I start cracking up. Now, as as funny as he is, and he is, he's yes. super funny, super smart, good little dude. His sister, on the other hand, is. We'll be like comedian. We'll be talking about she, her on the podcast one day about some of the crimes she's committed. <laughs> <laughs> she is. Don't she, do is that. she takes after her mom. It's. Oh. <laughs> uh, you want to wrap this segment up, and uh, we'll just go straight into segment one if you want to, or we can take a break. Well, let me find out what a, one of these good questions that you have. Okay. Um, I thought you wrote them all. I yeah, th- they were all good questions. You wrote some of them. You're now a superhero with unlikely power. That's a good one. Is it the ability to shoot meatballs out of your nostrils or the power to create force fields, uh, but only around ants? And, unt, question number two, what's something that doesn't really smell great but keeps you wanting to smell it anyway? Gasoline. Gasoline. Right? <laughs> That's Diesel. exactly That's where I was great going. <laughs> Sorry, I had that on deck, apparently. <laughs> yeah, gasoline. Gasoline. I, well, how are we going to remodel the house? Gasoline. gasoline. I'm like, no, that's not how that works. Uh, no, it's superpower. I would, I would put force fields around ants. Okay, why? Because then, like, you know, they can't bite you or, or come in your house because they have a force field. They're not going to get through the door. So you think about it practically. Yeah. So you wouldn't just be like, I'm going to shoot meatballs out of my nostrils because I think they would those hurt. IKEA meatballs I think I would are amazing. Like the meatball thing. I mean, because you could... 
use that for self defense. And if sure. you're hungry, you just blow your nose on a plate. And Could I feed the world that way? Yeah. Somehow. Yeah. yeah. Well, we'll do it. We'll do it. Meatballs out the nose. I'm going with force fit right now. Sidebar. The IKEA meatballs are amazing. I've never had them. <laughs> IKEA meatballs. I don't think we've been to an IKEA. If you go to an IKEA, they have the Swedish meatballs there. Okay. They're I fantastic. Thought IKEA was just a furniture store. Yeah. I mean, it is, but they have the, it's a Swedish furniture store. So okay. like, they have Swedish meatballs there. I've mm-hmm. heard that. Yeah, I've, I've heard of it, but I've never, I've never got to experience. So, is there like a dude walking around with Swedish? Meatballs? Well, no. I mean, it's like a, it's like a coffee shop. I mean, you go in there. You have to go in there with the intention is, of getting the meatballs. You is there just, a chef behind there? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you don't just walk, stumble into some guy. He's like, oh, "Would you like a meatball?" Bobbity boobity, give me a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> if, if we have any Swedish listeners, I apologize for the poorly, <laughs> that. Is uh, a very good possibility. We they, actually do. They are. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. So, oh, and by the way, uh, before we move on. Uh, uh, big shout out to Dixon 09, uh, Tanya, uh, that's Tanya, mm-hmm. right? Yes. Mm-hmm. And uh, who's the other? Steven. Steven. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I know, I'm sure there's other listeners out there, but you three are the ones that I remember because I hear your names all the time. Yeah, they, they write in a lot with some good questions. Mm-hmm. And Steven's got some great stories. He does, yeah. You know. And, and he's a good sport. Yeah. Yeah, yeah sure. he is, you know, because he sent you that essay. Cool. Yeah, it was like six pages. <laughs> yeah, well. it, was, it was pretty funny. I, 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 fe- I, I have no idea. I can't remember. I'll be honest with you. I, pull, I, I, kinda, I kind of felt like Beagle for a moment. I, I read the first three lines, and then it was just like I was out. And then I just he, kept reading. Yeah, he was just saying words. <laughs> he was comprehending nothing. <laughs> the was night good. was <laughs> dark. I just was monotone. with my friends. <laughs> yeah. I was zoned way out. That was a classic email, though. That was a classic moment on the show. Thank you. Thank so, you very much. That needs to be. We need to, like... When you all do your greatest hit show, that uh-huh. needs to be on there for sure because that was great. Okay, thank you very also, much. Also, the, fo- the follow up was really good too. When you wrote back, well. Yeah, yeah, that was, and 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 I want to thank you guys for hosting one of our episodes for us. That oh yeah, was, that was amazing. That, that that was great. That was a lot of fun. The the, the really opening, well. whoever had that idea to do it that way, is a genius, <laughs> and <laughs> that was just awesome. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, You're see, welcome. he'll take credit for that. So. Well, yeah, I will. You know, when we were locked in the trunk of that car where you guys put us, he kept farting on me. Well, See, right there it is. See, yeah. Again. So. Who was but, the little spoon? <laughs> me. <laughs> it was always, oh. always me. I like I like doing the little I spoon. I forgot the air holes, and that's my that's on me. Yeah. Well, I mean that stuff happens. Now, if you have a comment, uh, question, confession, or um, <laughs> confession. whatever, you can call us six zero six three seven three 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 nine six. You can leave a voicemail, and if it's clean and pretty cool, we'll put it on the air. Uh, you can also reach us, Goose, at HitterChewBubbleGum.com or Cronkite, HitterChewBubbleGum.com. You can reach any of the other members of our show, Elliot, Ned, Pup, whoever, uh, HitterChewBubbleGum at Yahoo.com. Now, Elliot, what are the uh, some contact info for the U.S.? Well, if you're wanting to get a hold of us, you can email me at Elliot at SpookyFamilyPodcast.com. Beagle at SpookyFamilyPodcast.com. Gertie. That's BoogieFamilyPodcast.com. And we will try to read your uh, story, email, whatever, online, as long as it's clean, and we can we can do that. Oh, and listen, guys, we want your stories. <laughs> if you have ghost stories, if, if you have real-life haunted house stories, send them mm-hmm. to us. We want to read them. We want to become as interactive with our listeners as possible, so make sure you get those to us. And uh, we do have a phone number. Oh. Do I know it offhand? What? <laughs> Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Well, we'll Eight, get it six, to you later seven, in the five, show. I'm not. Three, oh, nine. People don't even hand me things. <clears throat> to uh, call Correctly. the Spooky Family, it's 276-299-1681. That's exactly right. I Thank God. I was just testing you all to see if you all do it. Oh, you I know, actually like, have it saved in my phone. Passed. Well, so. I usually do, but for some reason, I'm just looking at QVC's now, Christmas July. You're, right uh, now, so. you're a good if we keep on going, right? Yeah. What about you, pup? You good? good. Does anybody need a bathroom break? Okay. Uh, in the second episode, we're going to just move right on. And as you guys are closing out, uh, one, one of the things that's great is in the first episode, when you're giving your email address, you start out saying legal, and and Elliot's <laughs> like, nope, nope, no, 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 it's not. No, no, and I no. was like, all right. Uh, yeah. So, And the same thing kind of happens at the end of the second episode because you mentioned you want to talk about leprechauns. And he says, no, no, we're never going to talk about that. Well, this segment is yours, my friend. This is the surprise segment. We're going to talk about leprechauns. Oh. Yes. I'm the leprechaun. Now, I knew that's what was coming. <laughs> See, now this, that's all we're going to get from him for the entire segment. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> what was it again? I'm, you know, I'm the leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's horrible. <laughs> horrible. But yeah, leprechauns are cool. <laughs> uh, and and I actually had Pup do some research on some leprechauns. Awesome, awesome. Uh, you know, Jennifer Anderson was in a, a leprechaun movie. Very famous. The first one. Yeah, the first right. one. Warwick yeah. Davis was the leprechaun. Mm-hmm. Did, 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 I, did I say it right? Leprechaun. 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 Got to get down feel, a little bit. I feel personally <laughs> attacked right now. I feel like this was a trap, and I was entered into the trap. <laughs> Welcome to Here to Chew Bubblegum. <laughs> I know. That's how hey, I feel all hey, the time. Hey, buddy. That's how I definitely feel I've never all been the time. More happy. So, uh, <laughs> <laughs> wake up. <laughs> Why do you like leprechauns so much? For, a, for there for a little bit, we had a uh, um, me and Elliot had an ongoing joke about um, if you remember uh, the first time we watched Cloverfield. Uh-huh. You all remember Cloverfield? Oh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yes. The, the, the live-action <laughs> like monster no movie. Scenes. And it doesn't make any sense out of context at all. It's one of those things had to be there. Yeah. Um, but um, I referred to it as the Cloverfield monster. <laughs> <laughs> and then he would do this jig yeah. <laughs> when he said it. for you, you <laughs> <laughs> And he would dance. And... Uh, it made no sense, and you have to understand. Oh, no, we and he wouldn't we stop, and then it makes it funnier. Then it just but snowballs. I just wouldn't yeah. stop, and you know, <laughs> also I'm a really big fan of those leprechaun movies. I, right. I find them to be really good watches if you're just wanting to just giggle. Uh, I mean, <laughs> they, they are. They make no sense. No, no, they. Um, you just I throw mean, shoes at him. There is a there's, there's a part in it. A spoiler for this movie. Was it come out in the 90s? I'm sure there's a bunch yeah. of people out here who are very mad. It was before spoiled. Friends. I just got it the what is that? <laughs> that was that was like Italian. You take what you want. <laughs> <laughs> but he... Uh, I'm going to start doing my running <laughs> No, please, God, don't. <laughs> this can be edited, right? No. No. <laughs> okay. No, this is one shot. One shot. One shot. Well, I gave it my best. <laughs> Now, uh, there's a part where um, the, they actually and uh, throw shoes at him, um, and he has to clean every single one of them before he gets back to killing them. Right. <laughs> that happened. <laughs> <laughs> um, they poured a, maybe like half a half of a uh, one-gallon tank of gas into a well, and it went off like they had made napalm. <laughs> Elf, elf and toothpaste. <laughs> so what you're saying? So what you're saying is, they're like the standard for cinema. Is, is what you're. Doing. Absolutely. Okay. Well, you do know why he had to clean the shoes, right? Because leprechauns, uh, and if you go back and search Irish folklore, they're cobblers. Cobblers. Well, that also goes towards. Does it not like sprites or um, fairies, fairies that would also help out during? Ooh, upcoming uh, plug night. for future episodes of. Spooky mm-hmm. Family Podcast, we are going to cover... That is our podcast, isn't it? It is. It is. <laughs> we are, we are going to cover some uh, fairies and, and stuff, but not but leprechauns. That, they go hand in hand. No, they don't. They're the same. No, you can. Not. Hey, yeah. We're going to talk about leprechauns. No, we're not. You, you have an open time right now. You can say anything about leprechauns that you want to. <laughs> okay, leprechauns are stupid. <laughs> oh, dang. Elliot. Yes? <clears throat> what is your favorite leprechaun movie? Leprechaun in the Hood. I knew it. Not, I knew that was going to be not it. Not space. No, Leprechaun in the Hood. Does he go to space? Yeah, there's a Leprechaun. Yes, he does. Yeah. Oh, I gotta Just watch like these. Just like Jason. <laughs> Just like Jason. Are you saying oh, that Jason I is a Leprechaun? To... Mm. There is kind of a correlation. Hmm. I don't think there is. Is has, has anybody both were in space? Has anybody seen the Leprechaun or Jason at the same time in the same room? Thank you. Oh no! Don't not thank him for that. That's dumb. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah. That's, is Jason was, like three leprechauns like stacked on top of each other? I mean, listen, nobody's seen me and Batman be. in the same room. It's very possible. Mm-hmm. Trust me, you're not Batman. <laughs> <laughs> so you're not Batman. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you don't know that. Yes, I do. You don't know that. Gary, flip this table. Oh. It is uh, assault. We See? Knew this was, See? This was going to happen. <laughs> we have bolted this. <laughs> <laughs> we knew it. <laughs> So, pup in, pup, in your research, what did you find out about leprechauns? Well, I found out that they were some type of fairy, and it was Irish folklore. See? That, um, they appear at a, the end of a rainbow at a part of gold. I've been to the end of the rainbow. <laughs> really? 
<laughs> have you really? Yes, I have. Have you ever and tasted all that's the there rainbow? Is Oz. Have you ever tasted the rainbow? No. So there's no leprechaun. There's no gold. No, what about a bag of Skittles? Did you find a bag of Skittles? I did find a bag of Skittles. Well, at least we know that uh, the Skittles. But it was, it was the zombie Skittles. So zombie. you are admitting to being at the end of this rainbow, <laughs> and I have never seen Elliot oh. or a leprechaun in a room together. Oh, oh my, my gosh. My favorite leprechaun. Why would you be so hesitant video? to talk about it? Hold on. My favorite leprechaun. It makes related. sense. Leprechaun. Oh, you got me. Is there some kind of leprechaun test? Can I take my shoe off and throw it at him and see what? <laughs> please. Oh yeah. Oh no, please. <laughs> Would that help? <laughs> my favorite leprechaun related media though is the "It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia" episode where he traps a guy in the bottom of his bar on a St. Patrick's Day, <laughs> and he's like. I got a leprechaun in the bar, and they're like, that's not a leprechaun. It's just a guy dressed like one. And he goes, no, pretty sure it's a leprechaun, and I'm going to get his gold. And then he holds him hostage the entire day. That's my favorite. Now, what is the difference between leprechauns and gnomes? Nothing. <laughs> they're stupid. <laughs> You wow. Really are, you really are anti-leprechaun. I'm wrong with you today. I You're so negative. And, uh, oh, my God. Yeah, I'm sorry. Who hurts you? Le- the le- leprechaun. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> let, let me ask you a question, Elliot. All right, go ahead. Have you ever watched the King of the Hill episode with Winklebottom? <laughs> no, I haven't. The gnome. Okay. I haven't. Okay. I haven't. Oh, I but can kind of remember it, but I, I can't remember what David the gnome. Now. You remember David, David the, the gnome. gnome. Yes, I remember David the gnome. He was an all right guy. I'll give him that. He was okay. But leprechauns are stupid. <gasps> Sorry, a hot take. I know. Well, leprechauns are done. <clears throat> Hopefully, Beagle, my friend, you know you did get to talk about leprechauns. Thank you all. Because at the <laughs> at the end of episode two, I I did hear in your voice how badly you wanted to talk about leprechauns, and he's like, "No, no, we're not going to do that." No, we're not talking about leprechauns. <clears throat> so. You should. You should. Uh, um, I mean, here at Chubo Gum and Goose, at least lets me get. Uh, my own creative juices flowing. You should let him have Anything his. else is fine. He can talk about whatever he wants to talk about. He can talk about, I don't know, anime, and he usually does. I have no clue what he's talking about when he talks about You just anime. don't like Irish people, right? I'm, I'm part Irish. Elliot. That's, that's the thing. Elliot. My family, tra- and I think that's what it is. I think I have like a familiar uh, aversion to leper. I think a leprechaun like killed my great-great-great-grandfather. Well, what's that Jesus. thing we usually say on the show, Goose? Nazis are bad. Yeah. Nazis are bad. Leprechauns are bad. Are not no, no, no. I mean, <laughs> so, some. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a jump. I, how else do you explain all the stuff Hitler had? I'm sure the leprechauns were using their magic to, to figure out something. No, what? it was UFOs. Nazi gold, leprechaun gold. I'm telling. Oh, oh. Telling. Yeah, there's no, there's no better yes. Aryan yes. ideal well, than yeah. a leprechaun, right? And that's. <laughs> yeah. Ideal uh, body type. Two, two, uh, <laughs> uh, Imposing stature. Imp- Yes, Very small, no, but no. Have, they have a big man complex. See, I'm telling you, leprechauns are Nazis. The Nazis are bad. Leprechauns are bad. There we go. I was just saying the Nazis wouldn't let their people have free reign either. Creativity. <sighs> okay, changing subject. Personally attacked. Personally attacked. <laughs> Same changing <laughs> subject. He's called me a Nazi. I, yeah, I picked up on that. No, no, yeah. I, didn't, I didn't come out and call you a Nazi. Yeah, you know, here, you I said that we talk about leprechauns, and it's like he's on the Maury show taking, yeah. taking a lie detector test, and you framed him. Cronkite? I, I, yeah, well. I, Shame I'm, on I've you. I've been framed several times on the show, so. You have not. Uh, what do you guys think about the recent government UAP UFO report that came out uh, Friday? So that, that, you know, you did bring this up. and uh, Cronkite had a great case. Yes, yes, All he right? did. So uh, one. 144 cases. The government can only explain one of the 144 cases. And guess what they explained it as? A balloon. A balloon. Swamp gas. How okay. many times have we heard a balloon when it comes to UFO cases in America? Come on. Now. At least 98.2% yeah. of the time. But Cronkite, your catch, like when, when Goose sent that to us on, on the private Ear Candy Network messenger service, not the courier service, but the messenger service, mm-hmm. uh, I went back and listened to that section, and it blew my, it blew my mind. Yes, it definitely. Now uh, he he said private messenger service, not courier service. I I do know a courier service if anybody wants one. Uh, if anybody needs hurry, one, hurry, 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 curry. In fact, uh, <laughs> hurry, curry at yahoo dot com if you need a quote. Now, do you want to explain too what a a uh, <laughs> this show has went off the rails? <laughs> <laughs> courier no, service no, is no, no, it's tits up for sure. Yeah. <laughs> what is it for people in the audience that may not know what a courier service is? Do you? Want it's to it's a delivery service okay. that uh, you know I'll deliver whatever you need me to do. Well, you deliver pizzas. Yes. 
Will you deliver uh, Whoppers? Sure. What about Subway footlong sandwiches? Okay. Will you take my child to a ball game? Depends on how much it pays. Oh, okay. Well, good, good. Uh, Let's say that we happen to find a dead body wrapped in a rug. Uh-huh. Would you take that somewhere to just dump it? Hmm. Probably not. Okay. What if it paid well, really good? Find a different curse. Yeah, quite fun to different curse. Really yeah, <laughs> You know, yeah, I mean, I mean, just get the list out. You know, if it, if it paid really well, it we wouldn't have to negotiate. Hit okay. me up later. All right. All right, I will. Uh, one of the things we'll that. I have to pay you in Bitcoin, too. Yeah. So. Oh, that's fine. That, Doge. That, <laughs> Doge is good. We'll take Doge. All right. So uh, that's my currency. One the of the dog things. Coin. <laughs> see, Beagle, Doge, Pup, Doge, Dog Coin. Yeah. Got it. Got it. We're like a painful train off the rails due to UFOs. Right. Let's go. Um, <laughs> But you were talking about there the the catch that Cronkite made in episode yes. thirty two, um, around the forty seven. Give me just a second here. 41. I've got it. Forty one fifty. Forty one fifty to uh, around forty one fifty to forty two oh five. There's a section in episode thirty two. Elliot was on that show, and we were talking about Project Blue Beam, and I mentioned that I had researched that the number 144 was uh, significant to some people. And yes. when you messaged me that Friday when I shared it to Elliot, I went back and tried to figure out when I made that comment what uh, website I got that research off of, and I was unable to figure it out. But um, I think I do have it saved in my like, bookmarks, so I'm going to go back and, and do that again. You know, just research everything to to see if I can find that again. It's extremely like it, it can't be a coincidence that that no, number appears. No, and I mean, especially you know, when we're talking that did you did you get a chance to read the disclosure article the whole uh, thing? Not not in depth. No, it's extremely wishy washy. It's like we know they're not American, and the Russians and Chinese don't have that technology. We can't say that they are aliens, but we don't think they're aliens. They're Australians. So, <laughs> it's possible kangaroos flying the ships. <laughs> but, I mean, like, it literally, at this point, it says nothing. It's just a piece of paper that says, hey, yeah, there's something out there. We don't know what it is. Here's, a, here's an official report of us stating we don't know what it is. Now, was it uh, the, the same report that I saw was like nine pages long? Yeah, was, yeah that's now, the same one. Now, here's the thing. Uh, that's a summation, though, that they yeah. put out for the public. Like, there okay. Was a, there was a much more in-depth one that Congress saw. I was going to say that there should have been. You say saw, but they just was like, okay, whatever. They yeah, didn't they pay attention to it. It should have been like several hundred pages. Yeah. I would think. My question is do you all think, like, here, here's the thing, and I, I, we might need to take a break if right. we need to take a break. I, no, I no, mean, no, I don't you're good. Get too much into it, but, do, like, at this point, at this point, do you all think that this is, like, this is going to make a difference. I don't really think that this has made a difference at all. I don't think it's going to make a difference. Well, you know, but if, if you wanted to keep a secret as, as the government, yeah, they've waited to the perfect time because nobody could care less. I mean, nobody, they can't care less. They, right. they're, they are, people are, the masses are overwhelmed with information every day. Right. And they, there's a lot of people who are narcissistic anymore. They, they only worry about themselves. Yes. Selfies. How they look on the yeah. internet. That's that's one hundred percent this is the perfect time to come out and be like, Hey, you know, yeah, it could be aliens, but it's probably not, but maybe. <laughs> and like and, and the, I guess the point I'm making is at, at this point, like even it, it's on CNN, it's it's in the New York Times, it's on the Wall Street Journal, and no one cares. No. Like, right. Absolutely nobody cares about it. And like shows like Here to Chew Bubblegum, shows like you know, spooky family podcast. We'll talk about it, and people will listen, and we get emails from listeners that you know. Obviously, there's interest out there, but to the mainstream, nobody cares. Right. And so <laughs> my my question is, like, what do you do with this information now? Like, we know there's something out there. We know we don't know what it is, but even our government's kind of like, eh, you know, like. Eh. Yeah. Well, that's what I'm saying. They they've waited to the perfect time to quote-unquote, disclose it. Uh, yeah, they haven't come out and said anything that would make us believe that, yes, there is UFOs, but we know there are. We yeah. know that there yeah. is no way that, that what we are seeing is well, human. They've they've not really uh, denied it with this report, though. No. 
you know, which they have in the past. Yeah. And I, I'm going to be honest, when you first started talking about uh, Project Blue Beam, I thought, well, you know, that that could be possible with technologies there. After the catch you made, and I went back and listened to that part of the episode, and just, you know, like, like I said, I didn't get to go in-depth and read the report yet. Uh, I think it could be Project Blue Beam that uh, people are seeing because there's a lot more sightings all across the world. It's very possible. A lot more. With, I mean, you've got people in India capturing UFOs with their with their smartphones, and you know that those people in these third world countries that do have the smartphones with good picture quality, you know that they probably don't have the software or app to throw that in sense. that and yeah. and and make something that's not there. You know, right. one of the first things I'll say. Because I know we need to. Okay. I know. I know we need to go to break. Okay. I, I would like to talk a little bit more about Blue Beam. All right. Well, we definitely will. We're going to take a break, and we'll be back in just a moment. Take a lighter look into the darker side of the world. Join Elliot, Gertie, and Beagle as they jump into the dark abyss of hauntings, serial killers, conspiracy plots, and beyond. The Spooky Family Podcast premieres July 1st, wherever you find and listen to quality podcasts. And welcome back to Here to Chew Bubblegum. I am Goose. As always, with me is Cronkite and Pup. Hello. And we have some very special guests in with us. We've got a full house today. Yes, we do. The bunker is full. Jam-packed. No more people allowed. We have talked about (laughs) Leprechaun. No more people allowed. No more people allowed. Why? We only have a short supply of rations. It's a top-secret location. If we get too many people in there, somebody's going to start talking. He's he's got a point. Yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point. Got a point. We've talked about Leprechauns. Cronkite's asked him some embarrassing questions. Uh, Elliot is tangled up. And I just got attacked by the microphone. I don't know how that happened. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, yeah, we bring the ghost. We oh, bring that ghost content. Yeah. <laughs> they oh, us. did you all bring? Did you all bring stuff to haunt our bunker? Maybe. Hey, uh, we, we take it with us wherever we go. Uh, it, it, it follows Cronkite too. Yeah, probably. So, so on July thirty yeah, first. By the way, this is an invitation. Sorry, I know you were getting ready to hit the Pikeville Toy and Comic Con, which is coming to the Appalachian Expo Center over in Pikeville on uh, July thirty first. But uh, I, I want you on the show to tell some of your stories. On, okay. On, on oh, cool. Podcast, so. Definitely. Awesome. Yes. Yeah. All right. Now, go ahead. Oh, no, wow. No. Did you just take this out? No. <laughs> no. no. You, you already well, got it. You I, got it all. It Quit. You, do you I know think you did fine. That the Appalachian Expo did Center perfect. was built on the same site as uh, Octavia Hatcher's husband's former hotel was? Yeah. Yeah. I did not know that. Yeah, I, did not. I didn't know that either. It is. It is. I thought that was all river where it's no, built at. The, apparently, it was right there because... Uh, 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 we we were doing some research on it. There were two mm-hmm. different hotels, and one of them was near the spot, like a little bit up. I guess maybe on the higher side of where the exit gotcha. center was. Gotcha. I've got a theory about it. What? Um, uh, last time I uh, brought it up, though, I was criticized. Okay. Well, you won't be criticized here. Please go ahead and share. Most people. likely, you will be. Go ahead. I'm gonna criticize you right now. Go ahead. Uh, was it where? Was it the mark? Oh, it wasn't the bar. We can't break. We can't mint. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, anyway, here's the thing. And, and we're going to say this again. If you're ghost hunting, make sure that you have permission by the people before you enter their property. Now, because we talked about Octavia Hatcher the other day. And yes. Then we were like, after it was over with, we were like, maybe we should mention that you shouldn't go and disturb their graves. Yeah, you know, yeah that might not be a good thing. So there's, I'm going to mention it this time. Now, Beagle, have you ever went ghost hunting and got not got the property owner's permission? 
Uh, you know, I have to say, you know, Beagle was young once. Okay. <laughs> Uh, made not, a lot of poor decisions. Didn't <laughs> made you? a lot of <laughs> poor decisions. Um, uh, uh, yes, I have. I have been in a couple of abandoned houses that I probably shouldn't have been in. One because I didn't have permission. Uh, two because structurally, right, they were probably getting ready to be demolished right. or should be demolished. Um, <laughs> uh, you know, a couple scratches. You know. Almost became a ghost yourself, but, is what yeah. you're saying. You know, and, 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 and this is a true story. Years ago, I acted in independent films and stuff, and I had uh, I would actually uh, uh, had a part in Lexington. And this other guy who I'd never met before emailed me, and this was like in 2007, 2008. He's like, hey, you know, come by. We want you to be in this one scene. We're going to uh, set this house on fire. And I'm like, okay. Because, I mean, you know, that that's cool. On the independent movie level, <laughs> yeah. you've got permission to set somebody. This. Yes, exactly. So I go to this location, and he had a big crew, very, very professional setup as far as the independent movies go. So I'm talking to him a little bit, and I'm like, hey, uh, you know, how, how did you find this house? How did you get permission to burn it down? He's like, oh, he's like the people that uh, used to live here, they live in Las Vegas. They've not been back in about 20 years. I'm like, okay. Well, did you get up with them? or some? He's like, no, I've not talked to anybody. I'm like, whoa, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> I'm like, you're really going to set this house on fire? You're not? He's like, yeah, we're going to really set it on fire. I'm like, well, dude, I'm going to have to go. So I just got my car and I have to go. So, and other people on set heard me asking him this, and he, he had quite a few people leave. But he oh, was I just, I mean, that was just yeah. a mindset, you know. He's like, I'm just going to burn his house down. Wow. Anything for the shot. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> whatever it takes. We're going to get that shot. Uh, we talked earlier uh, about leprechauns. Yeah. There is a mysterious video that I think you guys referenced in episode two uh, on your podcast. Um, and it's, the mountain is either in Ireland or Scotland. And somebody's captured a video of the mountain actually closing. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. you know, uh, you guys didn't go in did, depth yeah, on did, it, just but you did it. mention it. Bounce off of it. Yeah, that, that's, a, that's a really different uh, kind of video. It's like a, it's almost like it's a door hinge. Yes. That closes yes. like the rocks do. Mm-hmm. And, uh, you know. Have, have you saw it, Gertie? I think so. I, I'm trying to remember. What about you, Beagle? If that's the same one, I think I have seen it. And I've also seen maybe a, a short little uh, video over it. Uh, yeah, just yeah, because yeah. of the. Uh, I think they were trying to disturb that mountain, make a road or a tunnel through it, and. Construction kept no. That's a different. That's a different problems. one. That's a different one. That's a good one though. It's like it's breathing. That the one you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. This this one is mind. like there. It's a it's a rock face, and uh, the guy turns around. And right when he turns around, it looks like the rocks kind of shut. Like Close shut. Have yeah. you saw that one? I've seen that. I've seen. No, I've, not, I've seen the one that you said that it looked like it was. Breathing. Yeah, that's the one he sent to us. Yeah. That was crazy. That no. was yeah. like in Brazil or Colombia. I can't. I think it was in South The one that he's somewhere. talking about where it where it shuts, uh, that looks 100% legit to me because yeah. you can see, like, debris and smoke at the end uh, when yes. the door shuts blow up into the air. Mm. I mean, and if somebody was going to fake something like that, I don't think that they would pick up on something like that. I mean, it just looks yeah. legit. Let me spend uh, thousands of dollars yeah, and all yeah. this time <laughs> making this door. It, it, <laughs> it's crazy. To, I mean... The fact that there are videos like that out there uh, is, is like, and we we've talked about uh, the missing four one one, and you know we really didn't get into the staircases. Have you all ever heard about the staircases? Oh yes, out, out in yeah. the forest. That's we're actually going to do that on a, a, a near you know on a rehash the yeah. missing four one one. The the forest scares me, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I'm, t- I'm just gonna stay inside for the rest of my life. <laughs> why, why change, honey? Why, why change? change? <laughs> why, why make anything different now? It's going pretty pretty good so far, isn't it? I mean, yeah. I'm, I mean, not, I'm not disappeared. Bigfoot hasn't tried to. If kiss it's not, me. if it's not broke, don't fix it. That's right. That's right. Exactly right. It's been good so far. But yes, that video is extremely creepy. That is a. Uh, uh, I just. Did you? I just watched the door but uh, what well, did you think about it? That's pretty freaky. It is. It's pretty. What's show the name it, of that show video? it to Cronkite real quick. No, I'm 100 percent on board with Elliot. I do not dig the forest. No, I don't I like. I don't like, I don't like the woods. Uh, it's a eerie, creepy feeling. No. I just realized what shirt you have on. I like that. Indeed. Hurry, curry. Hurry, curry. Hurry, curry. And you know, the old country. Oh wow. Uh, 
Just the thought of that over there, you know, like that's all on a, in my opinion, a different level. Yeah. 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 And what was the name of that video, Pup? Let him pull it back up real um, quick. It was. So. Amazing footage captured by visitor at Giants Causeway. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. But yeah. it's, I mean, that, that's a fascinating video because I've watched it about 10 or 20 times and it looks totally legit to me. Um, it's like um, also what I was referring to um, with Elliot there, uh, that video that I watched, that short little documentary, I believe. Yeah. Um, there was a, um, they were beginning construction on a tunnel that was going to go through a uh, hillside yeah. or a mountain. Um, and this was overseas. And uh, I, I, <laughs> I have been just shown the videos that, that was going to pause. <laughs> <laughs> like a gasp. Um, but um, every time the uh, construction workers uh, began to start to blow up the mountain or begin the process of it, these strange occurrences would start to happen. And so that they all started to refer to it as if fairies or something like mystical right. was happening. Because um, I guess the way that the uh, activity was, was it was very like in a playful, weird manner. And it only happened, I believe, at night. Right. Like all their stuff would be put in different places. And when they come back. Like, so they could never get anything really accomplished right. because stuff just kept well, going missing, you know. I mean, we could talk about that all day, but I feel like we would be getting into, like, hellier ter- territory when we start talking about fairies and Pan and the Green Man and yeah. all that good stuff. But uh, there's a great podcast for that out there, though. It's called Penny Royal. If you ever get yeah, <laughs> I, have, to I, I have listened to that. Season 2 mm. is coming in September. I have no uh, reason to promote that, but <laughs> there you go. Other One, that's uh, good. Did... Uh, once uh, the first round table, uh, did uh, have you have you talked to Gertie and uh, Beagle about Ingersoll Lockwood? I have mentioned it multiple okay. times about Ingersoll Lockwood, and let me tell you something: that it just it keeps getting crazier and crazier. Yes, yes, know. it does. They now have a countdown clock on their website. <laughs> it does not say what it's counting down to. But, That's not uh, nefarious at all. It, it is Constitution Day at the at the time right. that that ends. It, it's just. I, you know, I don't know how you all feel, but I keep going. I want, I, I believe it, but then, like, I look at the website and I'm like, well, this doesn't look very professional. And then, but then I look at it and I'm like, well, those people are real people on the board of directors. Yes, they and are. I'm like, I don't know what to think about it. It's just, uh, it's crazy. And Baron Trump and all the, all the different things. And uh, I saw something the other day about the dog. Did you see the new theory about the dog? No. Did you see Cronkite? Mm-mm. Okay, so in one of the books, uh, in the Ingersoll Lockwood books, the uh, Baron Trump has a dog, and it's, I cannot remember the name of the dog. I think it's Bulger. Bulger, something like that. And uh, somebody says, well, look, you know, Donald Trump never had a dog named Bulger or whatever. Well, he didn't have a dog named Bulger, but there was a general that was very uh, <laughs> close to him whose last name was Bulger, who was a dog of war. You know, mm. So now people are starting to like, and I don't. I think it might be people stretching. I don't know, you know how it goes, but let's just say okay. Uh, another quick shout out for the show, <laughs> right? Rebecca Short. Uh, yes, I, I listened to that episode. Love that episode uh, so much. I bought the uh, the Awakening yep. map. Yeah, uh, we're we're in the process. We're going to be buying one because we'll be moving to a studio right. location in August. We actually have it hanging. Well, it's not hanging. We've got it out at the house and uh, you know just some of the stuff that's on there mixed with the Ingersoll Lockwood stuff it's it's amazing and there can't be that many coincidences no. you know no. what I'm saying like, it's difficult it's difficult to to come across um, several I mean it's difficult to, to, to argue against it I mean there are right. so many consequences that many consequences don't simply just happen right yeah, yeah I mean it's just you can say as much as you want to, you know, this is uh, uh, A plus B equals C, A plus B equals C, A yeah. plus B equals C, you know, and if it keeps happening over and over no, again no. and it keeps proving itself correct, how can you say it's wrong? You know what I'm saying? That's a, sense. When we're talking about Ingersoll Lockwood, let's give them a call right now. Oh, yeah. This is my, I love doing Please this. leave a message after the tone. Let's just leave a Thank message. Thank you for calling. Okay. Hello, this is Goose from here to Chew Bubblegum, and I'm with... 
Crunkite. And Pup. And you guys want us to mention you? I'm Elliot. I'm Beagle. Beagle. And Gertie. Gertie. They're with the Spooky Family Podcast, and we're very interested in your company and the countdown clock. Absolutely. And uh, if you can, please give us a call back at area code 606 uh, 373-3396. Area code 606 373-3396. And uh, that's it. God bless America. Have a good day. Good job. Uh, I, I just did that. I just wanted to see if their voicemail had changed, and evidently it's not. Um, and that's that's the biggest coincidence of all the fact that we brought it up on the round table and then yes. that night they changed the website. They changed the website. That's just now. There's been tons of people that listen to the show too that have that have messaged me that they've went to that website and they find it very 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 strange. What, what is it? I'm not familiar with. Ingersoll. Oh, here we go. Okay. <laughs> I'm not familiar. You're talking about a countdown clock, and I'm like, what okay. are they talking Goose about? Goose and Take it okay. away. <laughs> well, basically, Ingersoll Lockwood is the author that wrote the Baron Trump books. Are you familiar with the Baron Trump books? Okay. You never heard. And this is true. This is 100% true. Um, he wrote, what What, what, you, what was the name? The Marvelous Adventures of Baron Trump? The Marvelous first one was Mar- of Baron Trump. Yeah, and then the second one was like the uh, Marvelous Advent- or Underground Adventures or something. Okay. And he and wrote the, these the in last the last president. And the last president yeah. or 1900 is and, what it was. And he wrote called. these in the late 1900s. And in the books. Late 1800s. Yeah, yeah, late 1800s. And in the books. Um, he describes a kid named Baron Trump, whose dad's name was Don, that lived in uh, Fifth Avenue. That's where Trump Towers is at. Uh, oh, no, 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 you're, you're confusing. Well, the, yeah, the, I'm, you're I'm, all the books I, yeah, together, I'm yeah. putting a lot of books together. Yeah. And some people claim that uh, Ingersoll Lockwood did not exist, that he was a time traveler. And Now, there's know, a company called Ingersoll Lockwood Incorporated. Incorporated. That uh, speak of, speaks about the Great Awakening and uh, U.S. Patriots. It's just the, real. Their website's uh, real. They have a real nice there's, piece of property too, don't they? Yeah, uh, yeah. Right, literally right down the street from the White House. Yeah, yeah. And that, now there's a countdown clock, which in, if the countdown runs out, I think on Constitution Day. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And nobody knows what's going to happen. No, no. It's very. Uh, it's a very you know, clandestine and time. Their board of directors is all active and former military people, and uh, you can. And how was it the research for Samuel? Uh, what Samuel? The, so I, I did a little bit more research into that, and apparently, uh, the Samuel Stevens. Yes, yeah, Samuel Stevens. That, that is it. the chairman. Is a junior. And there was yeah. a senior. Oh, yes, guy. but at the time. When we first saw it, it didn't have the... It didn't the, have had, Junior. Yeah. Right. And then, because I, I noticed that the other day, they went in there and it had, in parentheses, Junior. Well, so it sounds wonder, like, to me, somebody's listening well, to our show. That's what I'm at thinking. At Saul Lockwood. I, so, uh, well, I mean, we have called them before several, several, several times. Several, several times. It's Ned's fault. He was the one who... Yes, <laughs> yes. He brought it up. But, I mean, it's, it's, it, it's really neat. I mean, it's if we started from point... One to take you through, we would be here at least two or three hours. No, more than that, I would say. So, yeah, I mean, we, you know, we've done about great, six shows on it. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'll have to, I'll have That's to message great. it to you. It's Ingersoll Lockwood, I think, the best of Ingersoll Lockwood. Mm-hmm. That's up, and I'll, I'll uh, I mean, message you that. They shouldn't be mad at us. We're giving them some great, great, know, free, whatever, uh, whatever they do. No whatever one knows what they, they do. do. I mean, no one knows what they do. That's the thing. Maybe they didn't want to. Then well, then why I have a website? Yeah. yeah. I, I don't I'm not for somebody. So. Why is it screaming at me? But then again, <laughs> Trump, but you do bring up a good point. If it's a public website, why do you get on there and threaten people who visit your public website? Yes. With Very lawsuits? true. That made no sense. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, that does not make no sense. Uh, skipping along to the awakening map, you do have one. What was your first thoughts when you saw the actual map? I mean, it's extremely confusing at first glance. Yes. But it, the. The way it's laid out, I mean, we we pretty much talk about all that stuff. It's all and, our it's all our jam. It's all our yeah, thing. It's, yes, it's everything. Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's really space focused, though. Uh-huh. A lot of it, which I mean, you know, makes sense considering we talk about UFOs. Right, and it, and it seems to connect. Yeah, it everything. does. Everything seems to connect really well. It's like one of those big. Uh, what do we call it? The continuous theory is basically yes. what it is, and it yeah. brings everything that, together: Bigfoot, ghosts, UFOs. Demonic possession, you know, like yeah. all kinds of the Nazis. Nazi technology, yeah, yeah, uh, all that stuff. ancient builder race. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, uh, and we talked about on uh, a show we recorded last week, it'll be coming up, the secret space program. Yeah. Uh, space we, program. Uh, we, we talked I about still that. I love the fact that the guy who uh, uh, 
hacked the system and found the secret space program did it from his girlfriend's aunt's computer. Yes. He yes. didn't do it from his own. It was his no. girlfriend's aunt. Yes. Aunt's. He's smart. He's yeah, smart. Gary, yeah. Gary McKinnon, highly intelligent. You know, and, and he still claims to this day that he saw a list of pilots that were qualified uh, to fly, and I'm trying to think how they worded this, non non Terrestrial. Yeah. <laughs> Non-terrestrial Will aircraft. Smith. So. <laughs> so. <Yeah. laughs> You know, but there's Will just Smith and Jeff, Jeff Goldblum. Yes, that's the ones that are allowed to do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank, thank God that <laughs> we can upload a virus off. <laughs> yeah, computer virus. Oh yeah. <laughs> you know, I mean, you go back and look at some of the Hollywood movies that have came out. You know, twenty years ago, some of this stuff nowadays is starting to make a little bit of sense. <laughs> I it's mean, a little too on the nose. Yes, yes, it is. Well, yeah. you know, and we've talked about it on the show before. The uh, military does have a special division that if you're doing a sci-fi movie or space movie, they'll send somebody from the government <laughs> there. You know, I'm a consultant. What yes. do you do? Yeah. Close I'm to the cameras. Cameras. Exactly. They, they had full access to military. Uh, you know everything. Well, and how do you get qualified to um, be a consultant for extraterrestrial military movies? I have, I have I no I idea. You and Goose, should, if there's any kind of UFO movie filmed in Eastern Kentucky, oh. you two should be. So well, yeah, well, no, I definitely, agree. Definitely, one hundred percent. I would, I would love to. As, I, long, as long as the movies are all filmed like indoors and in air conditioning, I'm fine with that. <laughs> now Beagle is going to come back and do some rando nautica with us. That's exciting. So, are you ready for he, that? He'll do yep. anything too. If you need somebody, oh to like, Lord, <laughs> he'll do it. Jump over into a yeah. creek, he'll do it. Um, <laughs> some of the things I hope. We capture, uh, you know. I hope to actually, maybe for us to actually maybe see some aliens, maybe see Bigfoot, maybe see some ghosts. But uh, if not, um, money, money, money for sure, for sure. Yeah. Uh, but I'd also like to reverse this on someone and scare them. Yeah, he wants he wants to dress up like Bigfoot or a serial killer in the woods. Says the man who scared someone in a haunted house that was dressed up for that the haunted house. You were a patron. That was an accident. <laughs> <laughs> that he was an scared, accident and that was scared Leatherface in a haunted house. To be honest, and if I'm being honest, uh, you, I don't. I mean, don't take offense to this place, but you, I don't think you would really need to put a mask on with your beard right mm-hmm. now. Like you could just walk out of the woods, and I think you could terrify some people. I've seen this man at his terrifying worst, and trust me, this it's is terrifying. this like is beer just covering it up. That sounded Lovecraftian <laughs> when he said that. I have seen his final form. <laughs> I have seen his final form. It's very scary. This is super he laid in our yard one year for how long. dressed like Michael Myers, and we put leaves on him. And as kids would approach, he would raise up. And like, oh, that's hilarious! It was hilarious until we realized we lived right beside the main road, and mm-hmm. we had to stop because kids were like running, running out to the traffic. And, like, we had to stop. So, um, would randomly stand in um, uh, my mother's garden that's directly beside the main road on a regular at, day at um, <laughs> just just like a Wednesday night at like one in the morning. <laughs> And would wave slowly and tilt my head at cars as they drove by. Just, That's creepy. Just for fun. And you know, it's very dark, very dark. All of a sudden, there's a light for the for the garden, and uh, then there's me. <laughs> and sometimes, like as they went by, I, I tried to like kind of time it, and I would hit the ground real fast. So if they looked back, they would, would see no there. one. Right. Um, so that's when your joints were better, I, right? <laughs> yeah, that was young Beagle. Yeah. So um, if anybody, if anyone, uh, at least six months ago. If anyone here to the Chew Gum area has had experience with Michael Myers in a garden, uh, please brought in. I'm yeah. very or have seen Bigfoot. Um, I could possibly You could be, be confused for Bigfoot. <laughs> or some <laughs> sort of wild man. Yeah. I've seen a Bigfoot at the Walmart. <laughs> what are you? <laughs> he was getting Velveeta cheese and Snickers bars. <laughs> some Tostito <Velveeta> scoops. <laughs> I'm going to fix some dip when I get home, I'll tell you what. <laughs> What do you think about Bigfoot? Uh, you know, here recently we've been doing a lot of uh, research involving it, and uh, it's definitely changed my opinion on it. Um, there, um, me and uh, Gertie have been watching a lot of documentaries, mm-hmm. and uh, there's like a whole other aspect to it that I've never really thought of. 
I guess one because of the, I think it was on the episode you filled in for us. You said something, and it might have even been your first episode. But I think it's the one that you guys did for us that you said you didn't even believe in Bigfoot or something uh, along those lines. Like at first, it was just something I loved, you know, just to like think about, or, right? You know, but now it's like I uh, I see these like accounts and like uh, uh, even with our our, our missing four one one. Um, I mean, uh, I told a story of uh, uh, two kids at the turn of the century um, that um, actually had what they they said was encounters with some creature that took them. And uh, they call and protected them as like a maternal type. Right. And called and called them and Mr. They, Bear. They referred to them as Mr. Bear. But as these uh, as these um, uh, their family and and uh, these other uh, volunteers, farmers, I believe, as they would come to try to save these kids and search for them, and they get close, these usually this beast would run away uh, bipedal, except would use its arm also to kind of almost like an ape as it ran away. Oh they wow! Said it, they said it was massive, uh, but they, uh, one of the things was um, you see these uh, you see these. Uh, um, one of the cases, the tree it had ripped trees up and formed a teepee with it, and the boy was inside the teepee. That's it. Completely fine. Wow. Just said I, that believe that, I believe that Bigfoot is real ever since I was a little kid, and there's way too much evidence out there for there not to be a Bigfoot-type creature out there. Uh, I agree. I think that there is, uh, with, uh, I, I hate to keep referencing it, but uh, the missing four hundred one. I mean, it just made me look at another thing at our, at our just our national parks. I mean, it's, they're so vast, you could hide something there. Anything mm-hmm. could hide. Yes, there. civilization could hide. Especially the way that they look. You yeah. know? I mean, if they were adapted to that, I mean, you're not. If they don't want you to see them, that you're not. Gonna see you're them. not going to. And then, uh, you know, um, these accounts though of these. Uh, uh, I've I've also uh, listened to another documentary where. Um, uh, these people who are growing pot up in, uh, I believe it's like Colorado, and uh, they were having rocks thrown at them. Uh, oh, see, from, from now the I've tree. heard, there's several stories. I've heard a lot of the rock thing. where For some reason, it seems like that's a, a normal thing with, with like a whooping, like a, a right. yell. Yeah. And wood whoop. knocks. Yeah, like the whoop, the wood whoop, or whatever, yeah. And they just start throwing rocks. It's almost like kind of like a warning, like go. Go. You're too right. close. You're too close to something. We want you to go, and um, uh, which those actually had um, accounts of people being ripped to pieces that were supposed to stand over and protect, I guess, the crops. Right. And uh, they were attacked apparently by s- several big big feet. Big, uh, we've had this big feet. Big footsies. Big footsies. Big footies. Big footsies. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that just sounds weird. <laughs> I like the plural. Uh, you know, I, I don't know. Well, all right, let's let's make a determination. What is the okay. plural of a bigfoot on this show today? Right I'm, I'm going to say big feet. Big feet. I think yeah. big feet too. I think big we'll feet. go big feet. Okay. So bigfoot eye. <laughs> ah. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm out of here. <laughs> so really, really, just to piggyback off yes. this real quick, I, I put a lot of stock in Native American. Like yes. legends and yes. lore, and all like most tribes of Native Americans have you know stories about, about creatures Bigfoot. about Bigfoot, and uh, even even more is a lot of our national park land was originally land you know well I mean everything in America was was Native American land yeah, but yeah. this was specialized special land for hunting or or uh, you living. know living living and, and like. Or sacred land. Or sacred a lot land. of it's yeah. sacred yeah. land, like and the I mountains. Think a lot and of it has to do. With it. I think a lot of it. If we go back and look at Native American legends and lore, we would we could solve a lot of stuff if we took it serious and looked at it. They, I, I don't know. They probably connected with them in a way somehow. Yeah, because they were smart. Yeah, Native Americans Absolutely. were super smart. Absolutely. And they don't lie about stuff. No. Uh-uh. Yeah, I mean, there, there would be no. I mean, if you think about it in that way, what? What is the what's what is there to gain from someone from that point to lie and let me draw something <laughs> like no this cave was our cave that we like to have the gallery in yeah I, I like to I just like to draw things 
<laughs> right, exactly. He, here's the thing, and, and that even goes to modern. Everything has a purpose. Yeah, and, with it, and I think it has to. I think it, you can connect this to modern day too, because I think I've heard Goose and Cronkite talk about it many times. Is these people who come out with Bigfoot stories, or I've seen UFOs, <coughs> or I've seen ghosts, you might get a little bit of a return from it. But the majority of what you get from telling your story is ridicule, and you get sometimes you get fired from your job, right. sometimes you get thrown out of your church, sometimes you know you lose more than you gain by telling these stories. It's like what happens with disclosure? Does yeah. the government say, "I'm sorry"? Yeah, well, I'm sorry. You know what I mean? They can't really, they can't, but but <laughs> what what do you what do you stand to gain from this? And especially if you go back all the way to like when the Native Americans were the main people on this land. What would they gain other than, you know, just trying to explain people, don't go there, it's cursed, don't go here, there's a, there's a, the old man in the mountains lives here, you know, mm-hmm. like, yeah. this is, to me, it, I don't know, that's just the way I think about things. Well, then you think about, these ancient civilizations and these, these people that were pre-modern civilization, we'll say, and... They drew what they saw. They, it wasn't a it, even going to the UFO, Bigfoots, whatever. They drew what they saw. You right. see, you see a spacecraft or a, a rocket on a, a cave wall. Chances are they saw something similar to that right there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So I mean, it's it, literal interpretations of what they're that, visualizing they're, at exactly. the time that, because they're just trying to make sense of the world around them. Exactly. I know they were and building the, theology around it. Yes. So. The aliens is star people. Yeah, I, yeah. There's a there's a tribe in Africa um, that they have, you know, they all they do is talk about star people. Like and they said that they, they would from. bring them. Yeah, I've heard some stories yeah. that they would bring them stuff, and they would, you know, kind of have like a gathering and yeah. trade things and such. Yeah, like Prometheus. Well, it's just like, bring them fire. Well, what was <laughs> you the, know what was the island uh, prince? Uh, he just died. The queen's husband. Uh, Prince Philip. 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 Yeah. What was the island where Philip was worshipped as a god? Do you remember that? Uh, it's not Vanuatu, is it? I cannot remember. No, that it's I think I can't anyway, remember. He he would. Uh, it was during the World War Two, right? Mm, maybe a little you after that, that because that. well they they uh, they were married. I think maybe at that point World War Two, but no, I think it's probably it's after. What, that uh, they think he's a god? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really don't know for sure. I know he just kind of toured the islands, I guess, you know, part of just a tour in the plane, empire, you know, the British Empire and stuff. But like, oh, my goodness, this man came out of this plane, and he brought them mm-hmm. crates of, like, food or right. provisions. Yeah. yeah. And for, the, like, up until, I mean, still probably. To they still, day, yeah. I don't know if anybody's told him he's passed away. <laughs> as a god. Like, he, because he came from the sky, he brought them, he brought them stuff. You know, stuff. Wow. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Like, I mean, yeah, that's I mean, it's their, interp- interp- their, their interpretation it's of either. what they it's crazy for our brains to this process. This person has done something unknown to us. Right, exactly. It's impossible to us. Exactly. Um, you know, uh, what, is it, what is that other tribe um, that uh, we're not, no one's allowed to actually oh, you're go talk- into yeah. it and make I know contact you're with about the- And they're actually cannibals. Yeah, 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 and uh, that uh, uh, oh, the that one that killed the Rockefeller, uh, Rockefeller guy. Yeah, the, yeah, he yeah. Was, he Michael, was all but, I think it was Michael. Yeah. Michael Rockefeller. And he, uh, what was it, his uh, boat or his? I guess his ship uh, uh, crashed or it, uh, sank for some reason, and he washed ashore. And the people that he was trying to help and bring awareness to actually ate him. Yes. Yes. Um, and then as they fly drones over and they'll stuff, throw spears. they'll throw spears up at it, yeah. thinking that it's some sort of, I guess, you know, to the demon, end, some demon, demon yeah. thunderbird, you know, some of that nature. So, I mean, to them, they probably have drawings of that of what has occurred. Yeah. It's, not, it's all about it's all about your cultural inter- interpretation of things. Yeah. I mean, imagine what we could know if instead of ridiculing people who have saw UFOs or who have, and, and hopefully this, this, Disclosure, this soft disclosure is a step in that direction. Who knows? But imagine what we could have done years ago if instead of telling a scientist, hey, you're going to lose your job if you mention UFOs, mm-hmm. to let's actually sit down and study this. Maybe they didn't want to study. Maybe they knew what was going on the whole time. And they well, yeah, if you yeah. ask Bob Lazar, they do study it. You know, and <laughs> if you go back and look at some numbers, and I mentioned this on the show a couple of weeks ago, uh, NASA, you know, in the last 20 years, they, they've had like 200 scientists commit suicide, supposedly. Yeah. So uh, you're not going to make me believe that 200 NASA scientists committed yeah. suicide. 
Mm-hmm. I think it may have appeared that way. Yeah. But, or, may, or, or maybe, I mean, some of them appeared that way, but some of them just were not happy with what they knew and having yeah. to keep it a secret. Right, right. Which yeah. all this kind of goes back to Project Blue Bean. Yes. As yeah, you're yes, saying, it it's, all, um, it's all perception. Right. That's exactly. what we're talking about is perception. I yeah. mean, exactly. It's all That's so. exactly what it is. And you want to... I, I, I feel like I'm taking over. No, 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 brother. I always talk too much when I come on the show. No, no, you don't. He gets excited. I do. I get excited <laughs> because I don't really get to talk about UFOs. Like, we talk about ghosts and right. stuff, but, like, UFOs aren't really, you know. Right. But like, It's becoming more and more. I think I'm, I'm starting to open up about the yeah, UFOs. Yeah, it's becoming so. more. I would <laughs> say, yeah, like, me and Gary are more on the... Blue Bean uh, is, you know, and jump in any time. I, I don't want to take over. But Blue Beam is basically the... Shadow government. I don't it's a co. It it's a like co-opting. I think of yes. um, of religion. Of religion yes. and, and, and um, trying to try to extraterrestrial phenomenon. Have you and ever watched the movie or read the comic book The Watchmen? Yes, I think so. Okay, I don't want to spoil. If I, no spoiler alert. Spoiler. It came out in eighty five. You know, three, yeah, three, <laughs> three, two, one. If you're not listening, you you don't want to hear about it. Let's get this part. The Watchmen. But at the end of at the end of the Watchmen, there the supervillain. Has kidnapped Osmandius. Uh, Osmandius has kidnapped <laughs> all of these uh, scientists, and they've created a huge monster that they teleport into the middle of New York City or whatever city it is in the comic, and it blows up. But it brings the entire world together to fight it's the Ronald Reagan quote. Right. That you know what would what would we do if if Earth was faced with an outside interference? Okay. So that's basically what Blue Beam is, except it doesn't have that uh, altruistic motive. It has a very, very bad motive. It, it, Blue Beam wants to project in the sky, like if, if you're a predominantly Muslim, or Muslim uh, region, you would see a picture of Allah in the sky. Or if you're a, right. a predominantly Christian region, you would see a picture of Jesus in the sky. And then Supposedly, now this is all theory, and this is a, none of it's proven. None of it's. I don't. I don't even know if it's technically possible. I don't think it is, but I mean, a lot of people say it is, and that these holograms will merge together into a one person, and they'll tell the people of Earth that all religions were true. You know, blah blah blah, and it's really the Antichrist that, that's setting up, and then. The way aliens come into it is later they say we all have to join together to fight against these people from outside of our universe coming to destroy our way of life. And so this is basically what Project Bluebeam is. And uh, what's really weird is the number 144 keeps popping up. Yes, yes, it does. Project Bluebeam, just like Cronkite said. And now this disclosure document has 144 cases and it's just, it's all strange. And you know, I don't know. It's just out there. I just I, one of the first steps of Blue Beam is you're supposed to start finding all this evidence that all of our history has been wrong. Well, just the other day they found a new uh, skull in China that apparently there was another type of human before there was us, and it's called the, the Dragon other Man missing skull. link. <laughs> the other missing link. Yeah, they keep finding missing link. How big is this chain? But uh, the, the, so it's the Dragon Man skull. So. You know, I'm not. I don't personally. I don't think Blue Beam could ever happen because right. I don't think that. I just don't think we have that technology to produce holograms in the sky well, that everyone on Earth would see a different thing. Yeah. How many satellites do we have well, orbiting the Earth right now? I think mean, about that. Yes. But do you have any idea? Well, I don't know. There's, there's <laughs> hundreds. Three. No, no. There's hundreds. Three. <laughs> All right, I'll go for it. Elon three Musk seconds. has more than three. That's true. So. <laughs> Elon Musk on the Tesla. That's probably. No. <laughs> no, I mean, so going back to the, the, the Project Blue Bang, everything that I know from that is from uh, Dr. Stephen Greer. And he talks about how the shadow government will fake an alien invasion to bring the world into whatever. A is, new world order. Uh, yes. <laughs> so, and and not, not saying that it's not possible, uh, but, you know, with the, the technology that we have, you know, we, a lot of people could see that it's hard to, to do. Y'all, Tupac just did a concert last year. It was awesome, too. And it was very <laughs> realistic. 
I so mean, the, the the technology is here. I, yeah. You know, and we've said so. this on the show before. It's been a while, but if any, I mean, if one of those show up in our areas, you know what somebody from the head of one of these hollers is going to do. They're going to shoot it. it. Oh, Lord, yeah. You know, so. Listen, I, mean, I'm, I, I, I would like to think that I am a, a very understanding person, but if an alien shows up outside my yard, I'm probably going to shoot at it, too. Are you really? You, probably. You're, you're, you're not going to wait and see if it's a friend or foe? No, because I'm very, I'm very... It'll get you before you... Get, exactly, <laughs> like, get it before hey, it gets you. Are you my <laughs> <laughs> You know, like, I don't want to, I don't want to wait, and I believe, you know, I don't know. Same I would like forward. to think that I would wait. If... I was to see something like Bigfoot, I'd shoot at it, you know, because that's they're probably not going to have the reaction. See, yeah, I think I would. But have, an alien, I think I would have the opposite effect on Big, like because if I saw Bigfoot, I wouldn't want to shoot at it. There was a bear in our backyard, by the way, just the other yeah, day. Yeah, I, 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 I saw the footage and, you put up. Yeah, and I did not want it. Like I wouldn't have even shot at that. I would. I, cause Son, like, we were in the house trying to be as quiet as possible. I know that. I, it, it was a very natural. And like if I saw Bigfoot, I probably wouldn't shoot it either because I'd be afraid. You know, like it's here. It's supposed. It's supposed to be on Earth. But if a little green man came in my yard, you best believe I'm shooting at it. Yeah, like, yeah. Don't get around me, dog. I believe you know, I, would, like, I ain't your kind. You know? I believe I would try to. <laughs> Wow! Well, the real aliens finally oh. come. No, I, I've out. never said that I was oh. an alien fan. I just don't. I don't like them. If there's any aliens out there that listen to the podcast, we are sorry. So sorry. We're, we're very sorry. Sorry, Glip Glop. Glorp. Glip Glorp. Glip Glorp is what we named it. <laughs> wow! I never thought. I, I, well, I would want to shoot at it to say like I've got Bigfoot. Like this is real type of thing. Well, I might not want to kill it. But I don't know. Well, you just scare it off, it off kind of thing. I mean, yeah, if, sure. you go, if you go back to the Hopkinsville case, you know, yeah. when, they, when they saw the little green man, you know, like they were shooting those. Yeah. In, like, Which is the well, most. But they they felt threatened. Well, I would feel, you know, if yeah. an alien shows up at my house, I'm feeling threatened. If a, Like, the men in black. They're probably not here to talk. Would you all be okay with the man in black showing up at your house? No. 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 Okay. No. A man in black to me is They're not creepier than aliens. Yes, they are. I mean, that's a hot think, take, but I think they're creepier than aliens. Well, okay. They're it trying to so assimilate. That's To me, that's that's very odd. Okay, so I'm that's odd to, behavior. I'm it's very to creepy to me. But. open-minded here. So, hold on. I know. Hold on. So, if the alien was a gray, yes. I would shoot the gray. Oh. If it was you probably have a conversation. <laughs> well, have you ever read the book Communion? Have you ever read the book uh, Communion? Yes. Yes. Okay. The description of what happens to you if you're kidnapped by those aliens or, or abducted by those aliens, that scares me enough that I would shoot an alien if I saw it and it looked like a gray. But I'm not saying like any alien. Like if, uh, I don't know, if E.T. was in my yard, I would be fine. Like, hey, he's well, a cute little guy. I hope so, Elliot. Yes, yes, yeah. yes. Just give him some Reese pieces. You know, or even if the Mars yeah. attacks alien, you know, nah, nah. If those guys are <laughs> in my yard, yeah. I'd be fine with that because... You well, they're, know, they're, they're the dangerous ones. Well, I know, but I mean, yeah. the greys, though... Their brain is exposed to the glass. Cool. They're like the scariest <laughs> version of an alien. Well, it so now, there are supposed to be seven different versions of the greys. Yeah. If, if it's now, the in, almond-shaped head with the big black eyes and, like, and it's looking at me... Like it's ready to... You're going to take those out. I'm going to... I'm now, going to one of them that uh, uh, the uh, reptilians, those are supposed to be like us. There's, there's good ones and there's and there's right. bad ones. Right. And I, again, like, I think it's... I'm just so... In, like, the gray alien to me is just so evil in my head that I just couldn't, I just couldn't be around one. I would hmm. be scared to death. Even that movie... Have you ever watched the movie uh, Paul... Yes. Yes. Simon Pegg and yeah, yeah. yeah. and uh, Nick Frost. Yes. I think is the yeah. guy's name. I, I, it's comedy and stuff, but I was still creeped out by the fact that it's a gray. It's alien. a gray alien. Gray aliens just don't jive with me. I don't know. I don't know what it is. All right. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry do you but. do you guys think that there is anything in today's time now, right now, June what twenty seventh at Roswell? Or or area area fifty one. Let me say that. I think At there's area something 51. there, but is it as much as it has been over? You know, like in history, is it as most most has been like consolidated? No, I think it's been proliferated through different right. bases. Whether they be like obvious ones we know about, you're just not allowed to go. Oh, that has a restricted area, or 
I mean, you know, underground or whatever bases do. I think that's been, you know, spread out over the U.S. I have went the uh, absolute paranoia way, <laughs> and that there is 100% there, and that might be the main. You think there's still something in that Area because 51? Because the best place to hide something is within plain sight. Yes, it is. And since that is the most Headly. notorious area for activity like that or to have things of, you know, alien nature, um, I think you make a bunker underneath, you put some of the stuff that's easily, you know, stuff you show Jackie Gleason. Right. <laughs> and then uh, there's the stuff down the bottom that you got to have um, Black Hawk clearance <laughs> to get to. Little 13 Blackhawk clearance. See, I, I, I feel about Area 51, I, I, I think it's, I don't think it's mostly, I think Area 51 is mostly U.S. military. Uh, like when we when were designing a new plane, I think we do it out of Area 51. I do think that there are bases in America that have UFO, I, I mean, this report says there are. They've, yes. they've recovered. Things. I think Wright Patterson for sure Wright has. Patterson. Oh, yeah, definitely. That has definitely. stuff there for Wright sure. Uh, I think uh, Dolce in New Mexico, uh, I think that's that's one. But I think that the majority of UFO related items are not on Earth as in land. I think the majority of UFO items now are all underwater. And I think that speaks to the fact that the majority of these uh, sightings that are on that are in this military document has been by Navy cruisers over in right. the ocean or near water. So I think maybe they have bases underwater, and I think anything that we've recovered, like you said, is scattered scattered mm-hmm. around to different groups. That way, there's no one group that has access to everything. So. Some right. people have some here, some people so, have right. some here. And that's kind of like Bob Lazar talked yeah. about. Yeah. You know? Well, you wouldn't want somebody to have full access right. to an entire exactly. uh, spacecraft. Or, if, they decide to, uh, if it's something that is very dangerous, you don't want that group going rogue. Well, you don't want, that technology. let alone that, you don't want them wiped for some kind of accident. Right, exactly. Because then you lose all you your lose data everything. that you've tried to collect. Yeah, I, for, I oh. forgot what president it was, but some president asked for the files of like something that had happened, and the president got denied Clinton, access uh, mm-hmm. to see. Jimmy anything. Carter did too. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. I think every like, well, I think Barack Obama did too. I think yeah. there's been a lot of presidents well, who asked for. It. I think Barack probably got them. You think so? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's possible. I get that of, feeling from him too. You know. Yeah. Because even a couple months ago when he's on a Jimmy Kimmel show, and I'm paraphrasing here, he was asked about the upcoming report, and he said, you know, well, if it does, it's going to change the way people that, you know, uh, look at religion. It's going to change a few more things. And he was so in-depth with that answer that made me think, wow, he's actually thought this before, you know, because he paused, he took his time, and, and, and you know, then uh, explained himself. Yeah. Well, and, and when, you know, and I was listening to a few of our shows uh, this past weekend, and they were a couple of the guests were talking about how Trump. They thought Trump would just blurt it out. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, yeah, but I, I didn't do. Here, I did here, too. I, you know, you think about it though. If he, you know, he's a he know he's a big mouth. Yes. Why would you tell him anything? So what did he do? He made it to where they have to tell us something. Yeah, but they more or less. I mean, they they said they. Didn't know. I mean, closer, that's, that's what I take away from Closer it. than we've got in the entire well, history. Well, you, you are right there. I think it depends on who you are, too, and what's your background. Like, do I think that uh, George H.W. Bush knew? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. oh he knew yeah. for sure. Yeah. And, and you got to think about his background. Yeah. Um, as opposed to Jimmy Carter. Yeah. No, you, you know, know, God yeah. bless him, but you know, yeah, he did. Jimmy Carter, I want you to tell me all the information yeah. you got. You know, and, and, and then I, and they'd be like, no, okay, that's fine. <laughs> you know, um, yeah. whatever you say. Do you see these peanuts? They're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Reagan, Reagan, I think, was probably more like us than any other president. Kind of scared. I think Reagan saw something. I think he was very open yeah. and, and, and yes. inquisitive. And I think he wanted to know uh, more. Yeah. And I think that he did everything in his power to. I think that's a lot of the. Okay. 
stepping out into uh, very controversial waters here. But I think that's a lot of the reason why he was shot at. He was shot. He was, you know, there were, there were, there was one. I thought that was because of Jodie Foster. There was one or two <laughs> confirmed attempts on his life, but then there have been more, right. that, you know, supposedly happened. Yes, definitely. That uh, weren't documented, yeah. That weren't documented. And I For believe public that consumption. a lot of that goes to the fact that, you know, just like Kennedy, he might have been rocking the wrong boat, you know, and, and they didn't want that stuff to get out. Yeah. What was that one Air Force base that uh, that military guard shot at an alien and they took it from him? Some, some uh, yeah, that was the one we talked from. about uh, yeah. a couple weeks ago, I think, yeah. Um, I'm drawing a blank. I was, I was talking about the, the... Well, there's so many of those. Well, that, that episode so, may not know, have aired yet. Similar uh, circumstances, you know what I mean? That's all. It's hard to remember, alien, too. And, like, it was laying there, and, like, these people that weren't from the military or from something, came and took it and took it to another Air Force base or something. Oh, okay. yeah. That like, like, well, interrogated. I, know, I know the one you're talking that about. That wasn't the one that yeah. we talked about yeah. a few... I, I know the one you're talking about, and I don't know that that one was... There's been a lot of people say that that one was faked because they actually there's been leaked video of uh, an interview with this creature. Oh, okay. So is he talking about the alien autopsy video? No, the, okay. this is one that, that, that an alien is actually... Talking, I have so, saw, I saw that. that. Yeah. yeah, so I, I, it may not be. Yeah. Speaking of the alien autopsy video, did you see the uh, report that is coming out that uh, Bob Bigelow, the guy who runs Robert uh, Bigelow, uh, Robert Bigelow, the one who was overseas was it Walker Ranch, Nids? Is it? Was it yeah. They've, uh, they've, there are some memos where he pretty much confirms that the alien autopsy video was true. Was true. Was true. But now, I, I mean. Whether that memo's been faked, right? Or not. I, I, I had not heard that yet. But yeah, like there's a, there's a lot of movement towards that alien autopsy. There's movement. a few people in this world that when they say something, I listen. And Robert Bigelow was one of them. Robert Bigelow mm-hmm. is one of them. Yeah, like Skinwalker Ranch to me is. I, I want to go. Fascinating. There. It's the, it's oh the, yeah. It's the physical it is my embodiment. Favorite location. Yeah, yes. it's the physical embodiment of that awakening map. You know, yeah, it really is. yeah, definitely. It really is. Definitely. What, what do you it want? is the next. What, what do you want for your palate today? Do you want Bigfoot? <laughs> Got gotcha. you. Want the ghost? <laughs> Got it. Do you want other kinds of cryptids? Got it. What about the predator? He's there. Uh, Cow <laughs> mutilations. Got, Got it. it. Human mutilation. Done. Um, yeah, I mean, <laughs> underground bases. Done it. Got it. it. Uh, it's all there. All so, yeah, there. and yeah, it is. Where it's now, all there. Oh, King Native Go. American lore. Got it. Got it. Yeah, it's right there. So, it's crazy. But uh, the rake. Got it. I'm pretty sure the rake lives there. That's. I'm pretty sure he lives in Homestead too. Right. Probably. <laughs> uh, but yeah. Um. I mean, you don't put. I know. I know he had a lot of money. I know he had a lot of money to burn. But that is the most extensive, basically, investigation of paranormal. In the history, and it's still it's ongoing. It's I mean he yeah. left, he pulled out, but there are new people there. Yeah. Now I don't know if they're as serious. I mean, is it they're filming a TV show and the head of security's name is Dragon? So yeah. I don't really yeah, know that, exactly yeah. how. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't exactly know how much they're taking it seriously. He's, he's a bit of a drama queen. He is absolutely. Don't I'm a security him. officer. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have to. We I have specific instructions not to dig on this ranch. Two episodes later, I think we should dig on this ranch. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just whatever, whatever yeah. you know. Fuzzy but narrative. but like, I if you go back and read the George Nori uh, book, Hunter for the Skinwalker, and you watch uh, uh, what's the guy? He did the Bob Lazar documentary too. Uh, Jeremy Corbell. Corbell, yeah. If you look at if you look at his documentary about Sk- Skinwalker Ranch, is I mean, it's like Christmas for uh, yeah, uh, yeah. This show, I mean, it really is. I would love to I go saw there. Some stuff about skin uh, I don't think we could do a lot of podcasts there because of all the radiation. <laughs> but uh, well, no, you know our. Uh, I mean, the dude's face started. Would die. The yeah. dude's face and head started peeling off his skull. But, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, I mean, all he did was took a shovel of dirt up, and he's yeah. That's to me. That's, that's head crazy. started coming off. <laughs> but uh, I mean, and the, according to you know. Like a lot of people, there are other places in, in the world that are like that. You know, like Russia has one. I can't remember what it's called right off, but there's a well, Dyatlov Pass. You know, Dyatlov Pass. That whole mountain is supposed to be like that. So um, I have heard about. Is this the one where the um, the expert hikers? Yeah, 
Um, yeah, they all um, ended up dying. From Russia that all died, and it was all because they thought that um, the way that the mountain is made, the way that the wind would come through it, yep. made some sort of frequency. Infrasound or something that. Like that would literally drive a man mad. Oh, wow. Know? And it would make them all, it made them all kind of mimic uh, hypothermia. Yeah. They like took their clothes off. They, they ripped weird, out of the tent, took their they clothes They started off, killing each other. Tried to climb trees. They, this one's missing a tongue and eyes. Yeah. And this one's <laughs> their body was full of radiation. Yeah. Now, what is that? What is it? The Yotlov Pass. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's D-Y-A-L-T-O-V. D-Y-A-L-T-O-V. Uh, I'll let you borrow my pen. Yeah, because I need to, I need to look that one into that one. Because, uh, if I'm not Russia's saying, done how many different investigations into it to be like, and this is definitively what we've decided. Yeah, to now, do. now they don't even allow people to talk about it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I have my pen map. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, and I God. believe that they uh, they were looking into uh, like uh, weapon applications for that frequency. Yeah. Well, and now you have that uh, that strange sickness. They don't know where it's coming from. Have you heard about that? The people that work at the Pentagon. No, no. It started, oh. it started in. Uh, yes. <laughs> it started in. Uh, Cuba? Cuba. Cuba, yes. Uh, it, they're called the Havana, Havana sickness. sickness. But Havana it's, sickness. Uh, yeah. Basically what it is, it's it's a noise, mm-hmm. some kind of audio that, that can be targeted. you all kinds of problems. Like that. Really? And it's, it's with happened. equilibrium, with nausea, headaches. Yeah, um, it, can, it, can, it can like incapacitate a person. It's happened in Havana. It's happened mm-hmm. in China. D.C. At our embassy in China. And now it's happening to some people in D.C. Hmm. And they said it's almost like if you take crickets, put millions of crickets, and then turn up the frequency. Oh, yeah. and then oh, it's wow. like it's a directed attack. It's not like... I've not. Like me, well, we could all be sitting here, and they attack pup, and it wouldn't affect. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't affect us. And we'd be like, "What's wrong with you, man? Are you okay?" And you'd be like, "I got to lay down," and then you're just done. Yeah. Uh, so. Like, you can't think of it. Not like, non-lethal, of course, yeah, but so, uh, but it would incapacitate you. Sounds like to me that could be used against the president. Very much you know, so. A lot of different people. Yeah. So. So. Well, I mean, not our current president. There's nothing in between those ears. Oh, oh my gosh. gosh. I didn't think this was a political point. Yeah. Oh, it's not. Oh, no, 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 it's no, not. What? <laughs> that makes Cronkite people mad. Oh, it does. Cronkite. Yeah, again, Cronkite, and here at Chew Bubble Gum, please. I would all hate to million. experience that, whatever that is. Uh, sounds yeah, awful. Yeah. Sounds horrible. I mean, and yeah, it's like we were referring to the, um, the original. Do you need to break? No, no, no. We're good. We're going to go a few more minutes and then probably end it. But uh, oh, yeah. say, uh, say uh, what you were talking about there. Oh, Speak. Just, uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, wait till I develop that whistle for you all. <laughs> uh, when, I, when I get done with it, you all be on the floor. Uh, I'll, I can take, I can take a name me and Pup will be the ones. That, yeah, we'll be the only ones. Yeah. The Pup and Beagle podcast. <laughs> so once you all get your studio like, together, are you going to open it up to other podcasts? Well, sure. 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 So Pup and Beagle, y'all can do the like... The home dog show or something like oh, that. Oh, there you go. The hot dog show. Yeah, there you go. That'd it's be just, awesome. It's just, uh, it's just them going around. And two winners and a microphone. It's just, just you all going over the hills looking for Bigfoot. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. yeah. And I'm like... Uh, Cooking we, hot dogs. That's should, it. Should we like try to talk to him? And he's already shooting at him. Here's your racking. This is Beagle with the uh, uh, Bigfoot show. Uh, Pup, did we find him today? <laughs> Yep. Sounds like we did. <laughs> See you next week. <laughs> that's, the, that's the show. <coughs> one and done. That's what we like. <laughs> one and done. But uh, I do want to thank you guys for coming on. This is this has been great. It's always great hanging out with you guys. And when we do get set up in our studios, you definitely have to come in. Now, listen, thank you all for having us. Like I said, I, I've said it a million times. Gertie and, and Beagle can attest to this. Uh, we would not have our show without Here to Chew Bubblegum. Here to Chew Bubblegum is, like, to me, is the, the mother show. Like, if it wasn't it for you all, we wouldn't be here. Uh, <laughs> you can ask Gertie. When I, when I first, you know, we first started throwing around the idea of our own show, uh, the only thing I said was, you know, Goose and Cronkite have to be okay with it. I don't want to, I don't want to, yep. like, try to do something different. If they say no, we were no, we were no, no. we. And uh, I think I called you. Oh you know, yeah, and, and yeah, you did. You know. And I was, I was like, it's just one of those things where, you know, we appreciate you all gave us a voice, and now 
hopefully we can use our voice to help expand your all's audience. Well, just and for it to evolve and grow. grow. That's all yeah, we want. Evolve yeah. and grow. And, uh, you know, there's other... We, we like to see other podcasts in the area. You know, like we talked about Talk Junk. Yeah. We talked about... Uh, uh, What's the other one? Down on the holler. Down on the holler. And then there's uh, one. Uh, Beagle's got a friend that has a podcast called uh, Nerds in the Mountain. Nerds in the Mountain. Nerds in the Mountain. I'm going to have to check that one out. And, uh, I have heard of that one before and been going to listen to it, but I, I, I forgot all about it until you mentioned that. And, uh, you know, there's just all kinds of stuff out there. And I think that in eastern Kentucky, you know, we could we could get a pretty good podcast yeah. network going. Oh, and definitely. I, and I, I, definitely. I, I really think that, uh, you know, you all – are the you know the pod fathers? <laughs> there you well, go. You're the pod fathers. Mm-hmm. Oh, so, I like it. Uh, that's a yeah, T-shirt. Yeah, that's that's a t-shirt. T-shirt. There's our fourth T-shirt. Right the pod fathers. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't do the Lazar's nuclear hardware, yeah, we are. Oh, very well, well, we're, we're we're definitely going to do that one. We're okay. probably going to put his face on one with the quotation. I'm sorry, Stephen. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, uh, that's the one. I'm sorry, I'm Stephen. Sorry. And then. Uh, <laughs> Uh, Lazar's nuclear hardware Lazar's store. Nuclear and, hardware. and you better send Stephen a free. Shirt. And then, oh, uh, yeah. definitely, definitely. And then the Pod Fathers. The Pod Fathers. I'm telling. You. But I uh, like the Pod Fathers. I do too. Listen. Uh, so I know you. You've got the Pipe Coin Comic Toy Convention thing. <laughs> oh, wow. The Coin Pond. Pond. The Pipe Coin Pond. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, that sounds nice. I don't, I, and I don't want to take that mm. or do it again. But uh, uh, okay. Spooky. <laughs> I want to do it again. We're not yeah. going to be there because. Uh, Full disclosure, uh, we might be there for a little while. Ah, we could be there. It's Gertie's birthday. Right. So, uh, I don't care. You know, we've got, I'm we, an old woman. But <laughs> we, have, we have graciously asked uh, uh, Here to Chew Bubblegum, uh, Give Us a Crown Guide, if they would take some of our stuff over and give it Definitely. out. Definitely. They Absolutely. said they would. We, we brought them T-shirts. You know, Definitely. Like, we hope you all enjoy those. But uh, if we're not, we, we will try our best to get over to the, the convention and just walk around and, and be paying customers, and but we'd love to see everybody over there. If you see us, we'll have on the Spooky Family Podcast t-shirts, and we'll be walking around. If you see us over there, come up and say hi to us, and uh, we'll we'll try to do all kinds of stuff. But uh, we're looking forward to getting out to some conventions and, and doing some stuff with you guys, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can just make this grow and make this flourish and, mm-hmm. and do all kinds of cool stuff. And eventually Ingersoll Lockwood will call us back. Yes, they will. And they will let us know what's up with that website. Yeah, absolutely. Well, very well said. And, and again, I, I probably speak for Goose myself uh, is when we say you guys are welcome anytime. Elliot, it is always a blast when you come by. I feel like an idiot whenever you come by. But it's uh, you should feel like an idiot all the time. See, I feel that way when That's Justin dirty. Perkins is around. That's dirty. Like, he's in here. Yeah, like, yeah. Justin's highly intelligent. I'm just like, so. dude, just. I was oh, just say Michael Rooker. That's yes. who you're talking about. Okay. Yes. Michael Rooker. Okay. Michael Rooker. Uh, so on July 31st, again, we're going to be at the Appalachian Wireless Arena for the Tom- Pikeville Comic and Toy Con. Uh, PikevilleComicCon.net. They also have a Facebook page, or you can contact the eStore Comic and Tech Shop on Facebook at, or call 606 263 4946. I want to thank Elliot, uh, Gertie, and Beagle of the Spooky Family uh, Podcast for being here. Don't forget, it premieres this. Thursday, yep. July first at one a.m. Well, make so that would technically now, be singular what, decision. Uh, July second. Right? No, it'd, no, it'd be July the morning of July. Okay, 1st. the morning of July first. When you get up, go to spookyfamilypodcast dot com. I'm check excited. that out. I'm uh, looking forward to that. I am looking forward to. I it. will send you all the anchor link, just because you know how Spotify and iTunes yes. get. Yes, if you're not on there, yeah, uh, it, 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 yeah it, it takes you a little while to get. So built I'll up. send you all the link if you all with my posting, and uh, definitely we, we will have our own Facebook, which the website is live. But uh, we're gonna have our own Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, and all that all stuff that. coming up. But, well, you need to get a TikTok. Yeah, well, seriously, we, seriously, we thought about it. Uh, it, it, it will definitely pay off, and I'll uh, tell you why in, in just a moment. <laughs> okay. Now, this this question has probably been asked before, and I, and I apologize for not knowing it, but are your all's podcast, is it every week, or is it going to be? Yeah, it's going to be weekly. Just yep. one, one a week? or mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, we, what we did, full disclosure, we uh, recorded the first, four, well, the first four, <laughs> five. Give them just enough, though. <laughs> a taste. The first, tease it. Just tease the, it. The first five episodes are in the can. So, like, uh, the reason we did that is uh, we have a real big – busy summer coming up we we don't you know we work during the right. summer and, and yeah. we wanted to make sure that we had enough stuff in the can that way we could if something happened right we would have some stuff yeah that makes sense and uh so the first five 
because we're mm. doing one tomorrow night. Yep. The first five will be in the can and will be already recorded by the time they broadcast. The sixth one, though, is when we're going to try to start going on a weekly, recorded on a weekly basis. Good. And uh, we hope to have you all on. Like I said, we're, we're going to try to make a big push towards Halloween. Yeah. Uh, Halloween's going to be our big you know, celebration point, which mm. we, like, as a family, we've always started celebrating Halloween, usually at the end of August, you know, because <laughs> yeah. September and October are our Halloween months, you know, so yeah. uh, uh, we're going to make a big push towards that. We'd love to have you all on there. Uh, Pup, you're more than welcome to be there, too. Um, just, just we can't wait to see everybody. We can't wait to, to hear everybody. And if you're a listener of Here to Chew Bubblegum, uh, give us a try. You don't have to stay with us, but give us a try. If you've enjoyed Elliot's articles, it's pretty much the same, except every now and then we, we tell some jokes. Sometimes they go over really well, and sometimes I edit them out of the show. So, like, you know, so just just give us a try. And if, if we're not your cup of tea, that's fine. You're here to chew bubblegum is your cup of tea, and that's great. And if you don't like here to chew bubblegum or spooky family, maybe you like talk junkie, or maybe you like, you know, that's why we want to get that out there, guys. So. Well, thanks very much. Uh, again, I want to say special thanks to Carlin for all of us over work. CK Uncle Bill and the gang over at DeadPit.com. Justin Perkins of Talk Junkie. Be sure to check out Down the Holler with Jordan and Brad. Don't forget about Seth Ambergy and Seth's daily podcast. Also, I about that one. Sorry. again, <laughs> the Spooky Family Podcast debuting July 1st. For more information, visit SpookyFamilyPodcast.com. On next week's show, it's a 4th of July celebration with co-host Rebecca Short of the Short Shit Show and her husband, Chris. By the way, that is an excellent TikTok account. been watching it. Great job. Oh, yes. Thank you. They'll be joining us for the uh, entire uh, show uh, right here next week on Here to Chew Bubblegum. That'll do it for this week. We'll see you next week. And until then, so long for now. Adios. Thanks for listening to Here to Chew Bubblegum. Tune in next time as we dive deeper into things the government doesn't want us to know.